Why? I don't swear very much, but why? Why did I try? There, I just whacked my knee on my desk. Oh! Ninja Gaiden, back to the garden. Why does that hurt so much? Why is there parts on your body that, if you hit just right, hurt a lot? Ah! Uh. <laughs> Dead King, thanks. Ah! Uh. Uh, thanks for the good luck. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That happens to be interlopers. Uh, yes, I. <laughs> Phrasing. That pushed him lower. You're right, it does. How low can he go? That's lower. <gasps> we can push this stupid dickhead all the way into the ground. What in the hell just happened there? Bury that son of a gun! Learn here. Got me again. So if I back up enough, he'll do somersaults all the way off the right side of the screen. That was perfect. All right, here we go. Does the screen scroll right? Oh my God, it's perfect! Wow! And this is it! Okay, we gotta do it again and then we've got it. Let's do it, come on. Shut up Slack and do it right for once. Zoltan! Oh, messed it up right there. Crap! <laughs> now we're, now we're gonna have to take a death abuse. Potentially. <gasps> fudge factory of fudge. A whole factory of fudge. Good morning. <coughs> Good morning. Good morning. Mr. Nintendo, Zilla 14th. Fed Def. Hi. How are you? How are you? Welcome. Welcome, how are you? Hi. Tell you what, this is going to be a really good test of the uh, internet as it is storming today. So we're going to have some, uh, we're going to have some bad weather. Good morning, Courtney. Good morning. We're actually going to start today with Jaws uh, before SMB3. I have been chosen. Mm -mm. Uh, Morning, Chaser. Uh, Hayes. Uh, Raffle. Like Rolf. Hayes. Welcome, Hayes. I don't know if I recognize that name. Why do I? Why do I not recognize the name? Hayes. It is Hayes. Yeah. For some reason, or maybe I do. I am getting to the point now where uh, I'm losing track of people's names. I'm terrible. Terrible streamer. Okay. Well, I'm excited about Jaws. We stumbled upon uh, a new concept, a new thought, a new thing that may help uh, that may help with Jaws in a way that I haven't thought about before. Well, I have thought about it before, but uh, there's a culmination of things that are, may, may make the Jaws fight different, which will make it harder, but harder because that's not the way that we've always traditionally done it, but easier after, uh, after learning. It's not going to allow us to go faster than we could have potentially gone before, we're still doing, we're still accomplishing the same thing, but I believe we'll be able to accompl accomplish it faster and in a more consistent manner. Uh, he didn't say hello to me and I was here before anyone else. So, clown, so, hi clown. Uh, I didn't have uh, YouTube chat up yet. I'm sorry. Uh, but you are up to date on trolls, so that's good. Exactly, Chaser. That's probably my favorite part. 
probably my favorite part. Oh, sorry, Courtney. Log in. I think we're all, everything seems to be all right. Courtney, there will be now. Yo! Yeah, Clown, there's uh, two different chats, uh, and it's hard for me to keep track. Clown, if you want better recognition, go to Twitch. Hey, Ben. Hey, Ben. Ben. Because if you're on Twitch, hey, Clown, you can do... Uh, Stay a while and listen. How about now? How about now? You have an intro sound command you can use. The Twitch is the chat that I pay more attention to, so... Uh, if you feel like I'm not seeing your comments as well, uh, go, you need to go to the um, better platform. Oh, boy, look at my fancy butthole. Mm -hmm. Courtney? Courtney? No. It's gross. So, <clears throat> um, one of the things that it's kind of fun. So, I've told you guys before uh, about asking questions. I even have this thing that says the more you know. I always want people to ask questions. <clears throat> and as many times as I've done the Jaws fight, I know exactly how everything functions. But it was explaining the, the Jaws fight yesterday that made me revisit a concept that I hadn't thought of in a while. And then something kind of clicked and then last night I was able to put some things together. I don't know if it'll work, but we're going to try today. Hey, Fooch, how's it going? Hope all is well. All is very well. Very, very well. We're having some coffee. We're going to have a stream. The, the internet is better than it has ever been, even though it's stormy out today. This internet thing is a game changer for sure. It's amazing. I'm going to be able to play anything. Uh, so, guys, I'm thinking about it, and I don't know if Matt D's here yet or not. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to tell Matt yet. Uh, one of Matt's favorite games is uh, Dark Souls, and you hear a lot about no dam. Oh, I got to add time here. You hear a lot about no damage playthroughs of Dark Souls or no hit runs. Uh, and then there's the whole Soulsborne series, and there's some some hype about those games being really hard and people doing no-hit challenges of those games. So there's some stuff wrapped around that. But there's also this concept uh, behind what is considered a difficult game now and what was considered a difficult game uh, back in the oh back in the day. Let me I forgot to bring up TikTok. Oh, TikTok, just give me a minute, could ya? <laughs> so, with that said, uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about an experiment that I would like to do. One, because I think... Uh-oh, internet spike. I was loading TikTok, probably what happened. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, does it say... Does it survive? Got it survived perfectly <laughs> clown that's all right you're just doing it in the wrong spot if you want attention you need to go to twitch otherwise you're gonna be missed sometimes i do a pretty good job i do a pretty good job of yeah blitzben zero that's that is the equivalent of the lag spike that we've had with the new internet. And that's fine. I don't mind little lag spikes like that. The, and, and that happened because I loaded uh, TikTok. Uh, so I'm sure that, uh, I'm sure that's why that happened. So the thing that we don't have is we don't have a crashing stream, a stream that completely crashes. That's all I care about. I just don't want it to crash. I just don't want it to crash. That's all that matters to me. And we had a full no crash yesterday. Today's going to be a really good test. Like I was saying earlier, uh, we've got bad weather today. So today is going to be a really good test of whether or not uh, the stream is going to be able to handle. Mm. 
You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do uh, this. Oh, that's weird. Nah, that's super weird. What if I did this? And this? No, that's also weird. I'm trying to organize my my multiple chats that I that I try to keep track of. Toward Praise the Sun, I mean Matt D. Yeah, so uh my thought is to to celebrate uh Matt essentially fixing the internet crisis that I've had for five years. Um I want to uh, kind of surprise him by going through Dark Souls without damage. Uh, it's a complete and total change from anything that I've ever done on the stream because I've never done a modern game. It is going to be really cool because it'll be something I can do for Matt. I think he would really enjoy seeing Dark Souls. He loves the game, that kind of thing. But also, it'll give us this very interesting... Uh, this very interesting comparison in, I don't think, if you go through all of the, the people that have beaten Dark Souls games without damage, you go through those list, show me any of them that have beaten regular Nintendo games without damage. I don't know if there's anybody out there that's bridged the gap between the modern no-hit runs and the old-school no-hit, no-damage runs. So if someone asks you, what's a harder game, Ninja Gaiden on the Nintendo or Dark Souls? No one can give you a really good answer to that because no one's been through both of them in that highly uh, routed, highly specific way. Tiny Cell. Good morning. Uh, yeah, so I think it would be fun. Uh, I would be able to go through uh, yeah. like Fridays as a change of pace. Yeah, Blitzman, maybe something like that. What up, Z? Sassy. Ninja Gaiden Souls. Wait a second. Hold on a second. It sure smells good. Guys, I... <laughs> My... Maybe I am insane. And maybe it's time for you to find out how insane I Oh, there we go. It was a follow. Beanzar. Beanzar, thank you for the follow. Uh, My stinky thing. Uh, it isn't working. And there's Z with a... With a Resub for 11 months. Thank you, Z, for the, the, the resub. I can hose both those games. Without damage, Buzz, prove it. Put your penis where your mouth is. Or you put your skills where your mouth is. That was gross. That was gross. How much P? Total P. 200, 2,000 P. It, it did stop raining, though. They have a pill for that. Prove it, is what I say. <clears throat> but yeah, maybe on Fridays as a change of pace, something like that. Matt, we're talking about how we can uh, properly uh, give appreciation Matt, for Matt, the new... Uh, Matt, <laughs> not damageless. I'm not insane. But uh, so, Buzz, what do you think? Is someone that can beat both of those games, which games do you think, what game do you think is harder? What game do you think is a more difficult game to beat, uh, Dark Souls or Ninja Gaiden on the Nintendo? So the, uh, and Matt and I talked about this quite a bit. Uh, we were down in Florida. We took a little vacay and uh, did some work for Multibot. And we talked about exactly that, is, is making the comparison between modern game no-hit runs versus, uh, you know, uh, the retro, the old school no hit runs. And I couldn't make a comparison because I've never done a modern game. So uh, in celebration of Matt fixing the internet crisis, uh, I may, it may be a Friday thing or something like that where we fire up Dark Souls, we learn 
and I, I'm not going to do like, I'm not going to follow along with somebody, what somebody else does. Uh, I'm going to route dark souls for no damage in the way that I route old games for no damage. So we can see what that's all about. Buzz says it's comparing apples to spaceships. I guess I hear that. They're making a sequel to Happy Gilmore. Oh, they shouldn't do that. They shouldn't do that. Money grab? Really? Like, why do you need a sequel to Happy Gilmore? Uh, maybe. Z says they definitely shouldn't do that. That's my first, my instinctive feeling about a sequel to Happy Gilmore is they shouldn't do that. It's gonna suck. I just don't, so fine, fine. I just don't think it's gonna be good. Old Adam Sandler isn't young Adam Sandler. So here's the thing, Z. I think old Adam Sandler can still be as wily as young Adam Sandler. And I think that they could probably, the story doesn't work. Was he coming out of retirement? Is he, is he teaching somebody else? If he's teaching somebody else, then anybody they choose is going to be a letdown. It's like, what do you do? What is this? What is the movie about? The, the movie had an arc. It, you know, it did it. it, did its thing. It's over. The, the story ends. You can't just add more story on and have it be good. John says old school ET was the worst game ever. I agree with that. Probably. I mean, I've never played through it, but I hear it is pretty. I, uh, John, have you ever, uh, there's some, some interviews and stuff, uh, with the developer of ET, the, the main guy that, uh, on the Atari 2600 that made ET and the time crunch he was in and how shitty the game is. Uh, yeah, it's known to be the worst, worst game ever for sure. Uh, and make it 100% dumber to an extent where it is bad. Well, like I enjoyed Dumb and Dumber or or Dumb and Dumber 2, but I don't know do I enjoy it as much as the first one? No. Sega Master Systems Alf might be worse than ET. Never, never even seen it. Part of me is happy to see Shooter McGavin again. Uh, I like that. There's a documentary on Netflix that talks about how bad the ET game was. Yeah, Primitive Man. I, I think that's what I watched. I think that's what I watched. Hmm. So, ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be working on this specific fight, <clears throat> this fight with Jaws. Uh, at least this morning, we are going to do full uh, no damage attempts at uh, Super Mario Brothers 3. But uh, yesterday we have some new questions to be asked for the fight with Jaws. And I want to uh, work my way through the the possibilities and how, how we can have a more consistent fast fight for the speed run, exactly how the, the fight with Jaws works and why we do the things that we do. You thought Dumb and Dumber-er was as good as Dumb and Dumber? I did not at all. Dumb and Dumber-er, the one with the younger different actors, I didn't even finish the movie. Uh, Dumb and Dumber 2, the new one that came out with Jim Carrey, I mean, like that was a better, a better remake or not remake, but a, a sequel to the movie. Jaws game greater than Jaws actor greater than Happy Gilmore. Jaws game is better than Jaws actor? You don't even make any sense. I am fatality. Welcome. How are you? Welcome to the stream. We're getting ready to do some Joes. 
first ones. Yeah, I liked Dumb and Dumber. Uh, one of my all-time favorite movies. It's just the stupid comedy that I like. I mean, stick around the stream a little bit and you'll find out that I, I enjoy that silly comedy. Uh, Dumb and Dumber-er, I think, was just poorly put together. Uh, and then you have uh, the new one, you know, and it, that's that's good. One of your favorite NES games? Fatality, this game right here... <clears throat> I, I actually co-wrote a uh, guide for this game, a, a printed guidebook for this game. I know quite a bit about this game and how the game works, uh, whether you're playing it casually, whether you're playing it for speed, whether you're going for a Power 9 uh, playthrough. Wait, Dumb and Dumber-er and not Dumb and Dumber 2 are not the same movie. No, uh, Clown, they came out with Dumb and Dumber and then... A few years later, they came out with Dumb and Dumber-er, and they it was a movie made without Jim Carrey with a couple kids, and it was a prequel. It was them when they were younger, and I just think they missed the mark on that movie. Then Dumb and Dumber Part 2 came out, but it was 20 years after the first one, and that's the one uh, where it has the, you know, the actors came back and whatnot. I had stream this game years ago what's up jaggy man good morning uh i do uh we we do some jaws speed runs uh, i've held the record in this game quite a few times i've been doing jaws stuff for the last four or five years uh there was a little bit of not so much a discovery but a a, a thought in uh jaws so when we're fighting jaws one of the things that we do is we take advantage of being able to be at the top of the screen without getting hit and being able to hit Jaws. Uh, we do that by being one pixel down. If I hold all the way up, I can't be hit by Jaws, but I also can't hit Jaws. If I go down one pixel right there, now I can hit Jaws, but Jaws can't hit me. So that's step one in the fight. This allows us to over... Fatality, you know that trick? Cool. Uh, this allows you to uh, be directly over Jaws, lined up with him, while you're timing your attack. When you hit Jaws, you hear the and then Jaws slows down for a little bit. He slows down for an exact amount of frames. I always get it wrong. I just can't remember. I think it's 26 frames. It's a, essentially a half a second. Game runs at 60 frames a second, about 26 frames. So Jaws is going to slow down. And while he's going slow, he's in what we call iframes or invincibility frames. You can't hit him again. If I shoot twice fast... You only hit him once. The other one goes through him because he's invulnerable for a little while. So in order to fight Jaws and attack him as fast as we can, we have to time the attacks and they sound like... We're constantly hitting him, but we're hitting him just when he's available to be hit again. We're delaying our shots. It's essentially every half a second, maybe a little bit faster than half a second. And in the speed run, it is very precise because we, keep, we have to go as fast as possible. And when Jaws is in his iframes, he slows down. If he gets out of his iframes, he speeds up and swims away from us, which makes it takes time for our shot to catch up to him. So we need to be overlapped with him and we need to be uh, timing those shots just right. Uh, and that's that's essentially our, our go-to for the Jaws fight. There's another main problem though. Good morning, Sassy. How are we doing this morning? Happy Wednesday. <clears throat> the other main problem that we have is... The encounters in this game last as long as the game has enemies left to create. So when this, uh, when this encounter starts up, the code is already saying, we are going to create 23 enemies in this encounter. When the enemy is created, it won't create another enemy. Like for example, we've got two rays on the screen right here. We got a ray here and a ray here. Until one of those rays is off of the screen and unloaded, the game won't create another one. There unloads the ray. This ray is being unloaded, and boom, 
It's gonna load in the next enemy. This happens to be the mini shark. Let's go back to the beginning. All right, so we've got two rays. This ray here is gonna unload. Boop. Now it's going to, what it did is it created a jellyfish, which is down here and it's coming up. Where is it at? There's the jellyfish that's coming up. So it can only have two enemies on the screen at a time. Jaws does not count. Uh, and an item that an enemy can drop can also slow down uh, the spawning. The ways that we can make this encounter last long enough to kill Jaws, the easiest way is to bring the fight down here. Now, this Ray spawned in low, and in order for him to unload, he doesn't exit the screen to the right. When he exits the screen to the right, he re-enters to the left. So that ray is going to go to the left and then re-enter here and then go to the right and then re-enter up here. And that ray has to do this crisscrossing pattern all the way back to the top. That takes it longer from when it is loaded in to when it is unloaded, meaning that the game ha has to wait that amount of time before it can make the next enemy, making the encounter longer. The thing that we want to be able to do is we want to be able to optimize shooting jaws, which the best way we can do it is right here. Hitting him 20 or more times as he goes across. The reason why we can do that so well is because we're at the top of the screen and we're overlapped with jaws, meaning we're hitting jaws at the exact same pace. If you're not overlapped and you're behind Jaws, so you don't get hit, like if we're lower, you have to shoot Jaws, but the bullets take time to get them and it's much harder to time. Uh, if we tried to stay on top the whole time, this is what, so uh, essentially this save state is right after shooting Jaws from the boat. So we, we the boat, there's not a whole lot we can do. Uh, we've hit Jaws 14 times on the boat and five times as he's left. This is about as, about as good as you're going to do. And then I've saved it. If we tried to stay on top, this is what would happen. Let me get a... So, if we tried to stay on top, the game is going to load these rays in, but it's gonna load them at our uh, Y coordinate, so they only have to swim across the screen before they unload, meaning it's gonna create enemies and unload them quickly, and it's gonna work through the list of enemies to create very quickly, ending the encounter. At the end of the encounter, the game gives us this guy here. He's hard to see, there it is gives us the baby shark. Baby shark can hit us at the top of the screen. So when baby shark comes in, we, it's much, much, much harder to hit Jaws. Did we just lose this, the... Why don't you get me a cup of coffee? Who the hell is it? A cafe latte. What the fuck? Twist the lemon. What's up, Jay What Garden? the fuck is this? Sweet and low. I see baby shark. That's in the game. Yeah, it's right there. There's a little baby shark. Um, is it in the game? Yeah, it's right there. Got a five second stutter. Okay, so that's what happened. And then it dropped uh, TikTok. That's fine. That's fine. I think we're good. Um, so we do not have an effective way to fight Jaws and Baby Shark together. We have to avoid Baby Shark and fight Jaws. Avoid Baby Shark, fight Jaws. Even that, in, in that pass, 
I hit Jaws 10 times. I'm hit, I'm, I'm, I'm half as, as fast. Doesn't work. But because Baby Shark comes at the end of the set of encounters, if we can extend the encounters, we can get Baby Shark to not show up before we kill Jaws. And, and that's, that's my backstory to what we're going to try to do today. What we, what we used to do is we would fight Jaws up here, getting the, the, uh, the best amount as we can. We do one more. We're loading up as many hits. Now we need to extend the length of the encounter. So now we're gonna take Jaws. kill Jaws. That's too slow. But you'll notice I was able to kill Jaws before Baby Shark showed up. And that's because I brought the fight down low. I brought the fight down low enough to spawn rays low enough that they are going to take too long to get to the top to unload before the Baby Shark comes. So everyone can follow along with that idea and that we're trying to get Jaws killed before Baby Shark shows up, and Baby Shark shows up after everything is loaded. So we need to find optimal ways of shooting Jaws, but also extending the encounter uh, uh, to the extent that we need. Clown, did you play the game much? Baby Shark appears on the second encounter of the game. So if you haven't ever seen the Baby Shark it surprises me because you get the baby shark on the second encounter. The first encounter will never have a baby shark. The second encounter ends with a baby shark and always does. Can I ask what yesterday's slacker name was? Oh my gosh. Kid at heart. I normally don't even remember them. Uh, G E C. I should write them down. I don't write them down. Uh, oftentimes, so let me give you an example. Uh, still a kid at heart. Sometimes I'll sit down and be like, uh, coffee's half full. So C-H-F, coffee's half full because my coffee cup's half full. Sometimes it's something to do with the stream and more in depth and I'll remember them. I believe yesterday was just really random, really random. So I can't remember what it is. Uh, what's today's INT? I just put it in and I don't remember. Um, it's, uh, yeah, still a kid at heart. It's less for you guys to guess. Sometimes you guys do guess them and sometimes I do put more thought into them. Uh, Something test, internet test, uh, I can't remember what it was. Uh, but it's mainly for you guys to make up weird shit and have fun. Just trying to make something out of those letters. What's up, Manny Rods? Today's quote is from Mon the Money Pit. You're right, it is. G congratulations, Mr. Manny Rods. You're like a genius. All right, uh, I will start to write down what the slackronym is so that uh, at the end of the day, we can display what the slacker name is. Because I, I feel bad that I don't have the answer to that, but I've never really paid much attention. Maybe I've seen Baby Shark and just don't remember. Uh, Clown, that must be because it's in the second encounter. Today's quote sounds like something from Knocked Up. No, uh, Manny's got it. It's from The Money Pit. 
Do you and your family watch WWE? Not at all. I don't watch any wrestling. I did. I watched like The Ultimate Warrior and Hulk Hogan and stuff when I was growing up, but we don't watch any now. Yeah, McMonkey, that's the other thing. Would I even be able to read it? Okay, so let's think of the ways that we let's think of the ways that we can slow down the encounter. Uh, one of the things that we can do is bring. So we've got the rays up here. We can bring rays down here. So by being lower in the encounter, we can bring a ray in here. That ray now, both of those are gonna have to swim up, swim across, swim up, swim across. These are the same two rays. So this way right here, we can extend the length of the encounter and kill Jaws before the baby shark shows up. Jawsome Sauce, hey, I love this game. Well, you were Jawsome Sauce, you were in the right uh, spot if you like Jaws and you like to know more about the game. If you have any questions about the game, please don't hesitate to ask. I like to say the more you know, the more you know, the more fun you're going to have while you are here and playing the game. I know a lot about this game, uh, about how the game works, about how to beat it in different ways, or right now we're working on the speed run, how to beat the game faster, uh, how, well, how it just, how it works in general. Thank you for the follow, Jawsome Sauce. Yeah. Ow! And welcome. So, um, <clears throat> one of the things that I've considered doing in this is immediately bringing Jaws down. So we brought Jaws down for one pass. This is gonna bring two rays in lower. And we can try to finish Jaws here. I got hit. The problem with that is, I'll try it a couple times here. I don't think it's going to delay enough, and we're still going to get a baby shark right at the end of the encounter. Sassy, thank you for somebody who gives up this Jawsome Sauce. Uh, Jawsome Sauce, welcome in and enjoy your complimentary bag of nuts, uh, courtesy of Sassy McPhee, the queen of the creep club. I always get power five uh, and up and beat Jaws. Well, so you really don't need uh, that much power. For example, if I was to show, and for people that are just uh, interested in beating Jaws, maybe in just an easy way, uh, because like I said, we can extend the length of the Jaws fight. Uh, for a lot of people, the challenge is beating Jaws before the encounter ends. And that's why you want to get a higher power level. You want to be able to hit Jaws, do enough damage to kill Jaws before the encounter ends. But like right now, this is Jaws with power three. Normally, if you're fighting Jaws... Have you seen my wiener? <laughs> <laughs> Kung Fu Crickets, good morning. If you're uh, fighting Jaws and you're at a low power level you're most likely not going to be able to kill Jaws before the encounter is over. Then when you fight Jaws again, Jaws gets its life back. But like I said before, the encounter is connected to every enemy. In, in every encounter, there's a certain amount of enemies that need to be created, killed, or unloaded before the encounter is over. And because rays, if they're loaded at your Y level at the top, all they have to do is swim across and then they're unloaded. Those two rays existed and are now unloaded and now we get a jellyfish here and a ray right here. Now this ray on the other hand has to swim all the way over here and then back up and all the way over here and back up and all the way over here. In a sense, it's gonna take him longer from when he is loaded to when he's unloaded. If you stay at the top of the screen, the Jaws encounter is gonna last about 55 seconds. If you stay at the bottom, the Jaws encounter will last 
three minutes or something like that. So by staying at the bottom of the screen, I say that you need to seek refuge in the little bush. So stay here and shoot Jaws. When Jaws comes at you, just go down, shoot Jaws, bring Jaws back up to the bush, avoiding the rays. This way is a surefire way to beat Jaws and never, this is all you have to do. Because you're at the bottom, the game will take longer for the rays to get to the top. Another fun fact about the game is in the beginning when the jellyfishes are just swimming up, the game's code will never spawn a jellyfish directly underneath your feet. Meaning if you stay in the same spot left to right, uh, the jellyfish will never spawn underneath your feet. A surefire ray to do this. I'll show you. I don't want to kill that ray. There we go. Go down. I'm not mashing the button super hard. Doesn't matter, you've got three minutes. We're gonna kill Jaws with plenty enough time. You see those rays? They're still going back and forth, back and forth. There's a jellyfish all the way over on the left side. If the game tries to spawn that jellyfish underneath my feet, it'll say the character is directly above me, go somewhere else. And as you can see, this is really straightforward. Oh, killed a jellyfish. That's going to speed up things, but not that much. I can't go down because of the ray, so I'll go up. We'll probably kill him right at the edge of the screen. There we are. And that's a very easy way to fight Jaws at a low uh, attack level. You probably could kill Jaws at attack two. Uh, in, in a single encounter. Now, another thing to note about Jaws himself in this charge, a lot of people struggle here. This never ends. I left my TV on and the uh, Nintendo on for a full day, overnight. You have as much time as you want right here. You only get three probes, which are what makes Jaws come out of the water. The graphics will glitch out eventually. <laughs> but it doesn't end. So there's no need to feel, uh, there's no need to feel rushed here. Now, something to know, you'll notice that Jaws changes directions sometimes. There are five different layers in which Jaws changes direction, and none of them matter except for the last one. So uh, you see these black lines in the screen? At a, right there, that last one where Jaws was right here, that's the last time Jaws can change direction. So, if you stay on one side of Jaws, whether you choose the left side or the right side of Jaws, wait for the last movement. If you stay on the right side and Jaws moves right, you can follow him to the end and kill him. If you stay on the right side, and like right here, and Jaws goes straight, you can go to the middle and kill him. If he goes left, you can't kill him. But that means when Jaws comes at you, you have a two out of a three chance to, here we go, I'm staying on the right, he goes left, I can't kill him. You have a two out of three chance. One out of three, you're gonna not be able to kill him, and then the other ones you will. Now you wanna pay attention to this black line at the very bottom. Right here, oh, he went left. If, uh, when Jaws comes down, you want the bottom of his fin to be lined up with the black line here at the bottom of the screen. And that's when you wanna strobe, To kill Jaws. I, I felt followed him in. Remember, he's here. Stay on the right side. When he comes down, if he moves right, you can follow him and kill him. If he comes down and moves left, you're done. Or vice versa, the screen's backwards. If he goes straight, you can move in and kill him. You should never miss Jaws at the end. I think a lot of people felt like they were being rushed. How'd you find out how many lines he runs on his path? Alucard, it was a lot of testing, but I also co-wrote a guidebook for uh, the easy way to beat Jaws on the NES. 
and uh, the Jaws fight is broke down in the book. Eh. Actually, isn't there another one here? Oh, look at me! So the Jaws fight is broke down in our book by uh, the location, the lines in which Jaws will actually move, how to line up for the Jaws fight, and how to line up for the, the kill on Jaws. Uh, it's it's mirrored. I did a lot of research on Jaws because we were putting together that guidebook. Now you write books. Yeah, uh, Alucard, I worked with uh, a man named 8-Bit Steve. 8-Bit Steve is a, an author for uh, retro games, specifically the Nintendo. Uh, he started the... E oh, he didn't like you! Who? <laughs> Julie Cat. Good morning, Julie Cat. Hi, how are you? My heart's beating. Julie Cat, you make my heart beat faster. You make my heart beat faster, and I don't like it. All right, well, at least we got that out of the way. Good morning. So, Alucard, 8-Bit uh, Steve started doing Easy Way guidebooks. He also had a podcast years ago. He invited me on the podcast for my world record in Jaws, maybe, or my world record in Kung Fu, I think it was. We got to talking about routing games uh, and with beating games without damage, you tend to try to route games as easy as they can be routed. So we had a parallel in what we did. He was writing guidebooks and trying to, to write a guidebook for the easiest way to beat games. I was beating games without damage, which were required me to try to route them to be as easy as possible. So we teamed up on a couple guidebooks where I helped him do the, the routing of the game to, to truly find the easiest way to beat some of these old uh, NES games. So uh, I can't remember. The, the books are not currently in printing because he's working on like three other books. Uh, he's... He's got a couple other books that he's writing, so he's taking a break from doing the guidebooks. Guidebooks are kind of like a fun uh, off project. Uh, I do believe you'll see the Easy Way guidebook series uh, make more books, uh, but right now he's not currently writing any, and he's not currently printing them, so they're all out of stock now. Uh, I believe uh, he will be printing them again for sure. Okay, I don't remember exactly what we were talking about. That is an easy way uh, here, and that's actually the, the way we suggest it in the guidebook uh, to beat Jaws. Control plus P, problem solved, slash S. I don't know what that means. Control P. Okay. So, let me talk about what I'm trying to work on. This has not changed. We haven't found a better way to do damage. What are we printing? To print what? Oh, for him to print the guidebooks. He's funny. He's a funny person. We haven't found a way to get any more damage onto Jaws from the boat than the way that we currently do it. Uh... We know from this encounter that guy, Jaws is going to come from the left side of the screen. We want to hit with as many cannonballs as we can. Cannonballs uh, do twice as much damage to Jaws. So uh, one pass of cannonballs, which is 14 hits. Whoops, let me do it again. Fourteen hits. That right there is twenty-eight normal shots. Julie Cat. Control P. <laughs> Control P is one of the lesser known D and D spells. I didn't know. Did you know? Did you know? Uh I didn't know that, Julie Cat. I miss playing D&D. &D. Maybe someday when I get older and I have more time and I don't have really young kids, 
Uh, I will get back into it. I hear your man passed the cannonball on the toilet yesterday. So we get 28 hits and then about five there. So with the cannonball pass, we are able to get um, 35, 33, 33 hits. With a straight pass, we can get 22. So we get 11 more hits on this first pass than we can if we were to do this and, you know, immediately get hit and then like follow him out. If we were just to immediately get hit, we're not gonna get as many hits. There's no benefit to not getting the first amount of hits on the uh, on the, the schooner. Schooner is a sailboat. So let's just do that first. That was actually six on the way out. That's 14 and six is the best you can do. That's 34 hits. So right now I saved it right here so we can practice from this spot. This is a spot that I don't, and the reason why I'm saving it there is I don't think that we can adjust anything in the beginning. I don't know how we could ever get more hits on Jaws than what I just did right there. There is a potential that it may be worthwhile to skip the boat Bring Jaws low quick, bring Jaws back up to spawn Ray's low to No, I don't know. I really don't know if we'll ever change the beginning of this, and I don't think we will. Uh, so now, like I said before, if we stay on top, I'm gonna do some tests and I'm gonna write some some stuff down. If we stay on the top of the screen and we do really, really well, how much life is Jaws gonna have left when Baby Shark appears? That's question one. All right, he just, and this is, you're not going to do better than I just did. Most of those passes were 22s. I had a 21 in there. That is essentially the, the best you can fight Jaws at the top. Jaws just went from three life, or from four life to three when Baby Shark came in. But so, Normal, I'm going to say Jaws is going to have four life at Baby Shark. Because if we say three life, we're saying at very best scenario, and it just turned to three, it's four. It's going to be a better uh, thing is four. So we know Jaws is going to have four life if we do not affect the length of the encounter. Step one. How much do we have to affect the length of the encounter so that we can not see Baby Shark? Because like I said before, avoiding Baby Shark and fighting Jaws at this point is just not an option. I don't see, uh, I really don't see us ever being able to effectively fight Jaws, meaning getting enough damage on Jaws while we're avoiding Baby Shark. I just don't see it happening. But those, what was that? Neo, thank you for the raid. Neo, welcome in. We're Johnson, we're shooting sharks, we're shooting fish, shooting fish. So the way that we currently do it 
is to do the normal passes of Jaws right here. From the boat, we do one pass. We do two passes. We do three passes. But now, after this pass, we need to extend the length of the encounter by going down. So now by going down, we're going to have some, some rays spawn down here. And because it takes them too long to get to the top of the screen, we have time to kill Jaws uh, before the encounter ends. But because we're not at the top of the screen where we can overlap ourselves with Jaws and that timing is just easy and beautiful and we're getting lots of hits in, we don't get as many hits as we, we get 20s to 22s at the top. If you can get a 20 hit as you're dropping Jaws, you did fantastic. So we're losing efficiency of shots by bringing Jaws low. Then we've got to do this part. And then you got to swim around. So that was 13. You're going to get, we have to do two of the passes, almost three passes, sitting in front of Jaws and shooting in front of him and then swimming around him. I'm aiming for like 17s or 18s. So essentially, we're losing, I would say on average, five hits per pass on Jaws by doing those other passes and a couple hits. We're losing a lot of hits by bringing Jaws down, but we need to to extend the encounter because we'd lose more hits with Baby Shark. Maybe while Jaws is off screen. Could you go down and spawn rays, then pop back up while Jaws is off screen? So one of the problems, J Games, is if we were here, we could go down Spawn a ray. Oh, I say when we go down here, we actually, oops. If we go down here, that ray that unloads spawns that jellyfish right there. So it's the next ray that spawns a ray there. Okay, and then we can go back up. I did work something like that, and I'll demonstrate that now, and we'll kind of work on this idea. It goes by what J Games is saying, but we can't do it while Jaws is off of the screen because he's just not off of the screen long enough. But this is what we're thinking. Okay, so I've got a problem right here. Because when a ray is loaded in, he is loaded at your Y coordinate. Your Y coordinate is gonna tell it where to start. Every time it exits the screen, it's gonna move up a certain amount of pixels and come across. I loaded those rays in, but I loaded them in a spot that's very unlucky because a ray is gonna hit me at the top here. We can avoid that by being more precise with where we're loading those guys in. I'm gonna do it again. Schmendrick Zelda tool is cool, but this, ooh. Are you doing a playthrough of this? No, uh, Schmendrick, I do, uh, I do speed runs of Jaws. Jaws is a very technical and uh, difficult speed run to do. Uh, I've held the record. It's a very short speed run. We do it, we beat the game in just over three minutes, uh, and we are really working into uh, an insane amount of optimization in it. Uh, and I geek out over problem solving, knowing what a game has to offer and problem solving and seeing what we can do. What's the potential? Rissa Cola, Rissa, where have you been? Good morning. I hope you've been well. Um, so again, I don't want to shoot him. One, two. See, I, I'm not keeping up with Jaws. I killed the Ray.
I got a ray in a bad spot again. So I need to go a little bit lower to make sure those l rays load lower. So I made some really poor shots there, but if you look at Jaws's life, Jaws is down to two life now. Remember, very optimal Jaws is at four life without the manip. With the manipulation by bringing the encounters down, we're down to two. I was consistently yesterday getting Jaws down to one life. Uh, with, with just one set of drops and back up. You can't go down too far. If you go down too far, I, I need to get Jaws down a little bit quicker. So potentially I would drop first. But we lose so much time in doing that. But we get a ray that's really, really low. Um... Oh, and then we got a bad placed ray. So my next thought, and this one's a little bit, little bit crazier, we can actually gain a little bit of time in shooting a jellyfish and having it drop an item. And I found one that we can do, but it's a little bit of a crazy shot. Okay, so if we stay up here, Now on the way back, we're gonna get a jellyfish that spawns all the way on the left side. You see how I shot back to try to shoot that jellyfish? That jellyfish's timing and when it spawns and when it moves is going to be in comparison to the rays as they're moving. So we can use a ray to time that shot backwards. See how he dropped the shell? I got hit there. We can shoot that jellyfish. The jellyfish drops a shell. That shell is going to take up a spawn. It has to fall to the ground. One, two, unload. We are essentially getting an extra three seconds. Uh, three seconds goes by pretty quick, but like I said before, with the drop pattern, I'm, a, I'm getting down to only one bar left. Technically, if we could add the shot in with a drop, we could potentially have an extended encounter fast enough. So I'm going to kind of practice that a little bit and see what, uh, see what we get. Oops. I want to get 21.
All right, so there's a 21 pass. I could do 20s to 22, but 21's pretty consistent. Now, when I start moving my way from the left back to the right, who makes the wolf howl? Taco Loco. Taco Loco, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. We're jawsing it. So now, on my way from the left to the right, I'm going to get two rays that spawn on the right, moving to the left. As soon as the last ray exits the screen, that is my mental note to turn back and shoot a shot. And that's gonna try to catch that uh, jellyfish that's coming up on the left side. So watch that last ray. I was a little bit late and I missed it. So this ray is here. I think that we need to do the drop shot directly after that. So potentially what happens if we do the, it, what happens when we're on our way to the right, we drop back and shoot the ray. Then we move down so that when Jaws comes back in, Jaws is over our head. So we can drop down a little bit for Jaws and then work our way back up. We've got a delay. No, we're overlapping the delays. It doesn't work. Maybe it does. Hold on. I missed the shot. Oh, man. See, I don't think it's working because we're essentially not getting the effect of both of the things that we're doing. Shooting that shell is not getting us much time, but if we shoot the shell while we bring the rays down, we're essentially... Uh, overlapping the two things that we're trying to do. So we would need to Yeah, we're bare, we, we were almost at three life. So we're gaining one life by doing that with Jaws. We got to do all these tomatoes. We're gaining one life. Which is what we need. We just need to drop down afterwards. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, I'm gonna get hit. I still don't know if that's overlapping well enough. It doesn't make sense to delay the spawns with that, that shot. We have to drop down after. No, I saved it in the wrong spot. The Amazing Gamer says AVGN. The Amazing Gamer. What are we talking about AVGN for? Just fight. I, I just feel like I'm missing something that we can do. Fast enough. Um, in order to keep the jellyfish and everything in the same spot, you need to be incredibly consistent. So if I'm going to do jellyfish shots to drop items, those jellyfish need to happen. Like, for example, if I do this here. I just missed that jellyfish, but I knew he was going to be there. That's like, there's some, there's a, there's a, an amount of precision that we're doing by staying at the top that we can guarantee that that jellyfish is going to be where we want him to be. But I need to offset that with a drop. So if I do the drop first, Oh, I tried to shoot that jellyfish. If we could find a jellyfish that's in that pattern that I can shoot, that'll drop an item after the drop shoots. hit him to see because right there would be the one if we can no no I'm not interacting well it's because the TikTok is not interactive why won't this minimize Here. 
Uh, lots of gold wolves howling lately. Discord for possible updates. Whoa, slack in here. Lots of gold wolves howling lately. Discord for possible updates. Possible updates on what? Beta, what's going on? Why are we playing this? Because this is a game that I like to do speedruns of, Beta. What do you mean by possible updates? Art, oh. <laughs> Art updates for what? It's not loading. Oh, it's my internet. No way. What? What? Oh. Wow. That is so cool. All right, everyone. We have something else to do. I want to do it as a surprise. I can I can switch the I, I can fix this in like 37 seconds or 12 minutes. Uh, whatever comes second. All right, so. Oh, wow. Wow, okay. Everyone shut up a second. I've got work to do. Uh-huh. 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 This will work here. Okay. Step one is done. All right. I got to exit out of this. Ah, I'm going to be naked. Naked. Fine. Uh-huh. Out of here. Here. You're not allowed seeing anything. I'm doing it all in secretive. Blah, 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 WPRK. Ha, ha. Got him. Ha, ha. It, all I should have to do is this. Where is the... Oh, it's on the edge of the screen. So this is like a 500 by 500. Okay. Um, Um, uh huh. This is the coolest shit in the world. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cool. Everyone shut up. You all shut up. Uh, has everybody used their gold wolves to log in today? Uh, start your timer. I don't even care. Uh there has everybody used the gold wolf to log in today i did well, let's see if there's some don't use it yet because i'll reset and you guys can do a double login no i can't really do that we may not get to see this too much today i hope it works first try 
Hope it works first try. <clears throat> if somebody hasn't used their gold wolf yet to log in, we'll see. Because if I reset streaks, Sir, we're going to lose some people's streaks. Negative. I am a meat popsicle. And in order for you guys to use the wolf, I have... Oh! Yes, it's so beautiful! Oh, it's so great! Oh, it's so good! First try! It's glorious! Oh, it doesn't get better than that. Wow! Clip it! If you want to see it again, you better clip it because I only reset the streaks once a day. Oh, Jaggy Man has been complaining about the Gold Wolf for years, and we've got a new one. Oh, it's so good. So good. Got to lower the frame rate a little bit. Slow it down. Sure. Uh, how much do you think? Okay, let, let, let's do let's do a thing. Okay, bye. Let's let's fix it. I'm not gonna just leave it at that. We're gonna fix it for sure. Okay. Uh, close. Uh, goodbye. Hi, it's me. I am now down here. So okay. Yeah. This is the gold wolf. Oh yes. Uh, who made the wolf? Little Billy. 31 months. Little Billy, thank you so much. It should be uh, 15 frames. So, and it was going way too fast. So I don't have a way of, uh, of adjusting the speed. So would you think it was going, tw well, it's probably going four times too fast. It was probably going 60 frames a second. So if we go into where the gold wolf goes, which is uh, dot, and dot and dot and dot we can go uh we'll slow it slow it down there that should be enough i'm going to re i don't care I don't care. I'm going to reset people's uh, streaks so we can see it again. It's just all there is to it. Just all there is to it. <clears throat> okay. So uh, don't do them all at once. We're going to want to see this multiple times. So I'm going to reset streaks. And if you have a gold wolf, you should be able to play it now, and we'll see. But just, uh, let's say, uh, just J-Guard. I probably said that too late. People are already doing it. Just J-Guard. That's it. What do you think, J Jaggy Man? I think that was it. It goes 60 frames. You wanted 15. I think that did it. I think that works perfect. We can make it bigger too. Should it be bigger? Should it be bigger? I don't know. No, it's so good. I think it's perfect right where it is. Chris says bigger. We can do a little bigger. All right, we're doing, we're going to, we're going to just, we, we just going to do a little, a little bigger. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to go there and I'm going to go here, here. And hyun. What all hyun? 
Well, and let's see. Girth matters. Okay. So uh, it looks like J Guard and J Games use their Gold Wolf. Sassy, you can be up next if you've got a time, if you're available. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. It's so cool looking. Wow. Not yet, Sassy. Come on. Get with the program, okay? No, not yet. Big Owl, how we doing? Big Owl. It's kind of like Big Owl, but Big Owl. This program is shit. You sh you shit. <clears throat> you shit. Do it now, Sassy. Now. Now you're taking forever. We'll see how big it is. I made it big. I made it bigger. Oh, it's the stupid chest is in the way and it didn't do it right. Oh, no, we can't do that. We have to make it over and it's got to go up farther. Oh, no. Too many testes. Hmm. So everything was all right. It just didn't go up far enough. And then the stupid chest get in the way. Where's the chest at? Stupid. So that'll fix that. <laughs> Meh. Um. We just have the wolf go up faster. And that'll mean it'll travel farther. Let's see what this does. Oh, everybody, look at my fancy butthole. If you want. Okay, I, I increased the speed by two, which means it'll move up faster, and there's a timer that stops it, meaning it should be able to move up higher, because the idea was is it wasn't moving up as high. I could also change the, the timing in which it moves up. But guys, we can't waste the gold wolves. Uh, we know that Sassy used hers. Julie Cat, you are next. Don't use it now. You're next. It's gonna take two more. We're gonna see how much higher it moves here. And by how much higher it moves, I should know how much faster to make it go so that it'll move all the way up. Julie Cat or Courtney, just, just <laughs> one. Julie Cat the first time, and then Courtney can be the next one because we're gonna need to tweak it. So Julie Cat first. Oh, it's pretty good right there. I don't know. Should it be that big? Should it be that big? Holy cow. It's pretty darn good right there. It's so beautiful. Let's leave it. Let's leave it and call it good for now. Bigger. Raspinol. Shh. Get out of here. Get out of here. I think what I need to do is tweak the size a little bit over to the right a little bit. I'll do some tweaking. I'm going to write down in here. Uh, uh, tw twerk it. Hoard. I don't know what that means. Exclamation point. Twerk it hoard. So, uh, uh, GD Wolf. That's goal, goal den wolf. GD Wolf. Horde. Okay. Wow. What an upgrade we just got there. That is nice. Sorry, I did that. I shouldn't have done that. 
Uh, you start the timer, and you got the wrong game in here. The claw. Uh, we can definitely see your redemption for Fish Finder. What games are you going to guess? Oh, we got a redemption from Big Owl for the Fish Finder. Uh, Big Owl, you do need to choose a game that you would like to try to fish for uh, in the in the collection. Sorry, I missed that. Mm, wow. You guys should do something cooler. That's like as cool as you can get right there. That's literally the coolest. What was I doing? Oh, I want to see if any of these other guys drop. All right, I'm gonna get hit. Yowza. That guy drops a star. So potentially one of the later ones, because if I can get a star to drop at the end of this, we're good. Pupy! missed it so right there at the end if i can get that last jellyfish and it drops a item i can get enough hits on jaws to extend the jaws fight Yo! <laughs> Corey, look at that. we have fancy shit we have fancy shit now just so you know ladies and gentlemen now we have fancy shit Just in case you didn't know, we do now have fancy shit. Beta says, oh, world record grind. Yeah, for this beta, this is, uh, we're going for speed run world record. Oh, 
It was in a different spot. Problem is, depending on how fast we go with that drop shot, we're not going to know. We block jellyfish spawns, so it has to be the same. We need to be in the same locations. Right, so that's this is the one I want. Oh, he doesn't drop an item. Piss! If that guy could drop an item right there, that item would take a second or two to fall to the bottom and a second or two to despawn, meaning that baby shark wouldn't be able to load in potentially until that item unloaded. No, because the baby shark would be able to load in right now which still may have been enough time. But either way, we're not getting the right, uh, we're not getting the right. Uh, thank you for clarifying that, that uh, what, what, what did we miss? Did we get the, the go fish guess? Tsunami, how's it going? Why are you playing this game? World record, yeah, but speed runs. The number 89 was chosen for the fish find. Oh, it's a fish finder. I misspoke. So for fish finder, yeah, we go through and we just grab games. 89 is gonna be, Somewhere in here. So I grab the game and the games around it. So for the fish finder, we have uh, Wizards and Warriors 2, Iron Sword. We've got uh, Kung Fu Heroes. And uh, Kid Arcarius. And Kid Arcarius. Those are three games I do have in my collection. So we got to find out if any of those things drop. So that one doesn't drop anything. That one did. That one did drop something, but I picked it up. But I think it dropped something because I killed this one. Let's see. So that drops a shell. So can we shoot that, drop the shell, but not be, but not collect it? Honey. Hi, honey. How are you? Just set it there. 
It's just a mess. This cemetery. I gotta clean it up. This cemetery. I'm confused. I'm, I, I, uh, oh, I wish we had a gold wolf to show my wife, but we don't. Look what Jaggy Man did. You know, sometimes there's a gold wolf that pops up on the screen. It's super totes fancy, huh? He's like an, he's like an artiste, isn't he? I just don't. everybody, look at my fancy butthole. How can that be? I don't know. It's like he works for some major companies or has experience like doing major things. Films. Maybe has. I doubt it though. I don't know. That's very impressive. Mm -hmm. he, he's he's imp impressive. Top notch. You have a little stain on your shirt. Paint. Oh, that's been there for years. It's like. <laughs> it's like his talented artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or something like that. Maybe. Maybe something to that degree. Oh, why? Why would you do that behind me while I'm doing things and stuff? Well, I was excited about the wolves. Because I say wolves. I can't get that guy. Why can't you? I thought this was your game. Kinda is, but not really. Yeah, gotcha, okay. One of them's like, Henry or TT, I think he's TT's age. And there was a piano in the room we were in, and he was just like pounding on her piano at one point, and like, it was like already 9 o'clock, or maybe it was 8.30 or something. Yeah, it was, we was late. Just like trying to like get through this, and his mom kept being like, that's just too much noise for me right now, like, calm down. And he turns around and he goes, I'm playing God! And we were like, what? <laughs> He said I'm playing Jaws, but we thought he said I'm playing God, and we were like, "What is going on?" But I, 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 I literally was like, "Do you want my phone?" <laughs> to this child who's not mine. Uh, yeah. Do you want to watch this and <laughs> yeah. shut up? Yeah. That's funny. But I'm playing God. God. But he said I'm playing Jaws. We just thought he said I'm. Playing God. People make fur hands down. Oh, would you rather make people burp? Wow, I I read that wrong. Okay, got it. That's right. That's right. None of those. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't appreciate those lilies. doesn't work because if you're too fast, it's too good. Be able to chug any liquid super fast. Oh, I missed it. Mm. Or be able to make other burp on command. I would want to chug any liquid super fast, but if I chugged it super fast, would it still give me all the effects of drinking it? Like, would it quench it? Like, would it, like... That's the one that doesn't... Dry? Yeah, it gives you all, it's it's just you ingest it so you don't have to take time to drink anything. Like if you like, I want to hydrate, blow up gallon, I don't care. Because like sometimes after I run, like I want the water to sit in my mouth for a second to like cool it down. Like would it still cool me down? But you, I'm not saying that you have to, you just have the it's ability good. to drink it fast. Okay, you well, can drink I it slow. Do that. I don't care about blue burp. Burp. If, it was, if it was chug liquid super fast or make people not burp. That would be a harder decision for me. I'd make people burp. That's what I would do. That's sure what I would do. Good. Who's Mr. Clean? Master Clean. He's underneath your chin yeah, right now. You can make him burp on command? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, watch. Someone make... There he is. You see him burping? Oh, yeah, I see him. He looks like a real Whoa. big one. It's a long one. Is it long randomly? Yeah, it's random. So people can record themselves burping and make, and they oh, have a chance of. just wonderful. Do another burp. Do another burp. Uh. 
<laughs> Do another one. The random. That's a big one. Um, That's um, what she said. <laughs> okay, so last uh, yesterday at one point Asher said, that's what she said. Really? Or he, no, 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 no. He was playing a game and he said something like the word said come up or something. And I think maybe he said she said that. Or uh, okay. Was just like, no, Asher, no. Not yet. Not I didn't yet. say that, but I thought that. Mm -hmm. like, you don't even know, Asher. Also, number two is pooping. I knew it was coming when the no came out of my mouth, but I couldn't stop it. Number two is poop. How is the stream okay? That's my question today. The stream what? Well, okay. It's great. Look at that. 2,000. Bit rate of 2,000. Never be seen before yesterday. Never seen before yesterday. Never seen before yesterday. Old and strong. All right. I'm leaving. Bye. The quality of what I'm doing is extremely boring, though. Oh, well, that's true. I guess I meant the, the actual stream. Not like the stream as in the stream. No, you're talking about the the inter internet quality. Great quality of what we're actually attempting to do. Mind-numbingly boring. You want to you want to go host uh, Nest Fest instead of me? They'd rather you there than they would me. I would say the event would be very <sighs> if I hosted. It would be very different. Is that your ma, Tiny Sal? Absolutely, right here. My mom. I'll yeah, pick her nose. I'm your mom. I'm your mom. You're the loser who plays video games in his basement at your mom, or not his basement, his mom's basement. I do. You ever heard that song uh, by Brad Paisley? No. I'm so much cooler online. I'm so much cooler online. You ought to see what I can see here. Um. She's dancing. What's it called? Dancing. What's that song called? I feel as though I need to play it for you. Because it's your exact situation with me being your mom. I don't know what you're talking about. Right. Cubby, Cubby, cat. Yeah, we're doing Jaws this morning because I'm, I'm working out some dates. I got to start this over. Ah, man. I just want to see. There's, there's, there is. Oh, it's just called online. Okay. I work down at the pizza pit and I drive an old Hyundai. I still live with my mom and dad. I'm five foot three and overweight. But then he talks about how online he's like really cool and people like him. Yeah, maybe Courtney knows it. Or maybe she doesn't know it. Maybe she was just saying yes to my ability. She gets down. It's, it's all, all about, about your feet. All right, bye. Bye. I can tell I'm annoying you. No, you're not annoying me. I just try. I have a lot of thoughts in my head that I'm trying to figure out right now. Bye. Bye. You're pretty. Thanks. You're a great dancer. I'm also way cooler online. I don't agree with that. I agree that you are as cool off of the lines that you are on of the lines. I'm cooler in person than online. Chaser, yeah. Well, no, yes, agreed. Well, no, not agreed. I don't agree with that, Chaser. I feel like you're cool online. Jay Guard says I'm not cool online or in person. Sassy's way cool, but if you've ever seen Sassy in the dark, you have night vision. <laughs> okay, shut up. I wanted to shoot that one and see what it did.
That one! That one! We absolutely, if I wasn't an idiot, could have killed Jaws there. Absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, Colonizer, there's also a jelly. I, yeah, I... I've, uh, there's, I've made leaps and bounds and twists and turns. There's one that uh, I can spawn... Where's my screen? Where's my screen? There's one that I can spawn... I mean, obviously on the edge, but I can spot them consistently at the beginning. There's one over here. There's one over there. Uh, there's different ones. Uh, there's one in the middle that I can do later on. Uh, so that one there, the j there's a jelly in the sixth position that will drop an item too, but he has to be the first six. There's one in the... Uh, uh, there's also one that'll drop a star at the end of the fight. There's one that'll drop the star at the end of the fight based off of where I am and how I'm spawning jellies. I just need to find a way to consistently spawn that jelly, and we've done it. Because I do the drop shot, getting about 16 or 17 hits. So where's it at? Jaws fight. All right, there's five. So now we're going to set up the drop the, the drop shot. I know I'm doing well when after the drop shot, I move to the right, and on the way back to the left, I have a jellyfish that's interfering in, uh, in uh, eight, seven or eight. So let's see if I can do it. I, I, my drop shot wasn't good. There's the jelly. I don't want to kill that jelly. And then I come back, there's the jelly there, that's fine. Now, how do I get the jelly? There's that jelly. Now, this is the one in one. So I didn't get the right thing there, and I gotta figure out why I didn't get jelly in one, where I was moving, I was definitely not going fast enough.
So that's the other one that can drop a shell. So I'm wondering if that one can drop a shell there and then, or the one there can drop. I'm just wondering how I can get, what am I doing differently there that gave me this, the one in the corner? I need the one in the corner because I'm moving away from it and I don't collect it. The problem with the one in the middle is there's a lot of jellyfish that can be blocked at, as a big group. Uh, that star at the end is pretty late in the RNG. So, uh, colonizer, the, the, the main thing you have to remember is because we're on the top of the screen, we can be extremely consistent where we are and block what we want to block when we want to block it and, and such. So I believe this setup will allow us to have a Jaws fight that is very consistent. Uh, you're going to have to get, you know, 14-5 off of the start or 14-4 off of the start. Uh, look at the table I sent you. I'm not going to be able to read it efficiently. It's been so long since I've looked at it. Yeah, it make that... You say jelly one. Oh, shell, okay, jelly six and jelly. So right there, I got a jelly six shell. So, but the question is, is how did I get to jelly six? What did I block? So right now, I'm getting this jelly. That's jelly eight, maybe? I want to find out where I am in the table here, colonizer, because this is consistent. I'm getting this jellyfish in this spot after the drop shot. So I get that. Now, where should the next jellyfish be? 16. So that's where I'm blocking jelly one. That's where I'm blocking jelly one. I'm moving. I need to take that jelly in the middle and then slow down maybe. Fourth line of the table I sent you, jelly one is next if you don't block it. So when you came in and I was killing jelly one, that was the jelly one. I blocked it. So I'm moving too fast, which is fine. I can slow down on that pass to miss the first one, get to the end, start shooting, uh, wait at the edge to shoot Jaws, kill the jelly, turn around and follow Jaws. Oh, this is good. This is good. Uh, who makes the wolf howl? Jaguard. Uh, gorilla. Toad Gorilla. Welcome. Sorry for the, uh, I, 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 we're, we're strat developing here and uh, my brain goes numb when I'm trying to work things out. All right, so there's five. On the next pass, we're trying to get... Uh, right. So... I almost need to be better there. Four. What did I say? Damn it. I need to be past it. I need to do better. If I do better, I'm slowing Jaws down and I won't block it. You can't, you have to do better. Four then 10. 
I have to do better. Jaws is moving too fast, which is bringing Jaws over to that one. You have to do better if you're gonna use the strap, which is fine because it's just gonna rely on consistency, uh, but give you what you want. Four then 10, block a 13 to get an eight. Don't kill the eight or else you won't get the one. Okay. Too fast. I got a ray at the top of the screen. Dang it. This is it. That's the idea. That is the idea. So we have a technical down and back up. I've got a save here, so we'll be able to test it. I've got a technical down and back up that you need to be 16, 17, and that's just something that we can excessively practice. Everything else is, is the exact same thing. You got the boat, you've got that. We need to have that down and back up so that you're lining your rays up and such. Then you gotta be quick enough. And then this one, all I wanna do is make sure that I'm hanging out at Jaws's tail. And then I'm gonna stop at the right spot so that I'm shooting Jaws on the way in and I can shoot the jelly Turn around and follow Jaws. Um. I need to go a little bit farther. Damn it. How many hits was I away? Is that even faster? We're in the same spot. No, I don't know if it's in the same, I don't know if it's fast enough. Why did I just lose restream chat? Weird. Colonizer, were you able to keep track? How many was I hit away? Close, there was a six that spawned behind you that would have dropped a shell if you turned and shot it. Ooh, that could extend the amount of time. Problem is, is I don't know if I'm killing Jaws fast enough. I don't know if it's faster. It should be. Because we're essentially getting all 20 passes, all passes with 20 or more, except for 117, which should average out to be much faster than what we were doing before. I was tracking jellyfish, not hits. I'll do it again. 
there was a one in six that'll drop a shell. The problem with the one in six is if it's in front of us, if we can turn back and shoot it, we're fine. This is exciting. Yeah, Jaws takes a lot of hits. Uh, is re Restream's not even doing, let me close this. See if Restream chat. Okay, let me try this again. Sucks because the timing there. I think that we need to be, if we're here, we still hit Jaws. So we need to be, we need to be like here. I lost too much time there. It needs to be a timing. You're swimming with Jaws, Eddie Gard Gardo. Yeah, I'm swimming with Jaws, trying to kill the stupid giant fish with my harpoons. Okay, so we also have that jelly eh, wherever that was. That's just too slow. Uh, Oh, I'm up a pixel. <sighs> How did I miss it? So is that the jelly? I'm not getting a jelly in six, uh, colonizer. Cause you said, you get the one. Tracking jellyfish, close. There was a Six that spawned behind you that would have dropped a shell if you turned and shot it. I must have been, I must be going too slow still.
Like there's that one that I don't know how I would ever kill without picking it up, at least consistent, consistently. I need to go back from the beginning. So I'm blocking jelly one because my whole encounter is not fast enough. When you get jelly 12 that drops the star, you're blocking all the jellies, five, six, seven, three. So you mean three? Okay, okay, okay. If you don't block any of those jellies, you'll get a six that drops a shell. Okay, so colonize, it's hard for me to visualize that. If you're playing through it in your mind as you're thinking about what am I doing, is it because I'm too far forward and I'm blocking or should I be backwards? Like, could I slow down or speed up or like, what could I do to affect that to try to make sure we get it? For example, I, if I'm not shooting quick enough on the drop pass and the time, if my timing's not good enough, Jaws is moving fast enough to pull me over and block the one je jelly in one. So I know what I need to do. So I'm too, see how Jaws is too far forward? I haven't, uh, go again and try to be fast. I mean, try to be consistent. This may be like the perfect setup, but unlike the other Jaws fights that allows you to not get it right, this is gonna require you to be perfect. Um, I'm not fast enough there. So that's where I wasn't, I wasn't shooting quickly enough. I wasn't getting good enough timing. So Jaws has moved too far to the left, meaning I'm too far to the left and I'm, I'm blocking some things and getting jelly 12, 12. Yeah, Iron Monkey, that's new, that's Jaggy Man. That's, we're fancy pants. We have pants that are fancy. The more you know, our pants are fancy. Because my drop shot there is beautiful. So I need to go one, two, three, shoot. I 
missing that shot. I got to get that shot there. And I'm shooting too fast on the way. I'm losing too much time in there. I've got to... So what, what I'll probably end up doing is on the way across here, I can judge my pace as an overall Jaws fight by where this ray or where this jellyfish comes up in, in where I am. If I'm a little bit too slow, I know I need to get extra shots to slow Jaws down. If I'm a little bit too fast, maybe I stop at 20 shots. It's gonna be a practice here, but uh, like this one, I'm really fast. Oh, I t tapped up. Too slow. I almost need to be in the corner, shoot shark, turn right, shoot shark, turn left, shoot uh, ray, or. We are so close, so close. I need to figure out colonizer. I must be going too slow, meaning I'm letting Jaws make too much uh, ground on this jellyfish shot. And that's the problem is I'm, I, it's, Jaws, 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 Jelly, back to Jaws. Did I pick up something there? I don't think I did. Man. There it was. That's it. That's it right there.
Oh, it didn't drop anything. Being fast is preventing you from getting the later items. When you're fast, you block the big group. That didn't drop anything there. That's it. That is a smoking fast Jaws fight. All you have to do, colonizer, is you've got to have a good drop, a good back up with like 17 hits, 18 hits, and then you've got to be consistent 20s. The hardest one being the jellyfish. We don't need the last item if you're fast enough. We don't need the last item if you're fast enough. Let's work it through the whole thing. You need to have 20, at least 20 on each pass. I can't kill that ray though, or that jelly. Too far forward, too quick. Be way too slow. My drop wasn't good enough. I gotta do the drop better. RNG wise, killing the jelly 10 is fine. You're blocking the next jellyfish anyways, but it does cause the next stingray to spawn sooner. Which we want, because we want that stingray to spawn where we are. Which I don't think it matters. We're getting one stingray spawning low enough. Because we can not have that kill if we more effectively could spawn. If we could get the stingrays to do one more pass, we essentially don't need that kill. Oops. So uh, the problem is right now, let's just, let's just go through. That first stingray spawns the jelly. And we want to be down here for stingray to spawn there. But then the next one spawns up here, which does matter. So what if we killed the jelly? Oops. 
So I'm way too slow in there to go back because of the this, the amount of times I hit Jaws. I think we need to add the kill. How many, I could, so. I don't think you need that jellyfish kill if you can get, if you can do better with your dive pass. If your dive pass can go low enough, quick enough. Yeah, exactly, and colonizer, I missed a couple shots. I did it again. I did it again. I'm missing shots because I'm so nervous with Baby Shark. Holy. I think if I wouldn't have missed those shots, I, don't, I think I would have killed Jaws right before Baby Shark got there. Meaning there's no reason to change the strategy the question becomes to you, colonizer, is how fast is that fight? The positioning of Jaws is, I, I'm just curious to what you think because normally a good fight for me, and I know that positioning doesn't mean everything, let's, but let's just, whoops. Your record kills Jaws around here. I've had runs where it's like right here. That's like my, what I'm going for. Anywhere in here is great, but I've had Jaws killed with his nose right here. And I feel like when I killed Jaws with his nose right here, it was not as fast as what I just did. And what I just did would have Jaws killed over here. So I'm just curious.
This wasn't fast enough. Adam May, good morning, Adam May. Yeah, we love you. Welcome. You're making it. Uh, you're making it hard. You gotta use capitals, man. Isn't it? Wouldn't it be like this? Like, aren't you? Wouldn't it be Adam May? Good morning, Adam May. So one of your stingrays had one less pass. Aha! Not down far enough. It's, it's all in the drop. It's all in the drop pass. Holy cow, holy cow, all right all the time, and gublamo, we got him, got him right in his gill hole, oh my gosh, colonizer, 21s and 22s and you can do it, and that's stupid, that's stupid, hey, uh, colonizer, last night when I was practicing, I had two 23s. Guaranteed 23s last night. I had a man, that, that name reminds me of the thing about huckleberries. Once you go fresh, you'll never go back to canned huckleberries. You know what's really funny? In the movie Tombstone, when you hear Doc say, I'm your huckleberry, he's not saying, I'm your huckleberry. He's saying, I'm your hucklebearer. Uh, back in the day when people carried caskets, the handles on the cask caskets were called the huckles. Uh, and to be a huckle bearer was to be the person that carried your casket. So when Doc Holliday is saying, I'm your huckle bearer, he's saying, I'll carry your casket after I kill you. He's not saying, I'm your huckleberry. Wrong. Isn't that fun? How did everyone get it wrong for so many years? Yeah, it's a threat to tell someone, I'll, basically, I'll be your huckleberry. I will be, or I am, the guy that'll carry your casket. Any snail. I, I, I learned this a year or two ago, but it was recent when I first heard it. It's all in the wrist. Yeah, I always wondered, I mean, back in the day, I was always wondering, like, why does he say I'm your huckleberry? Like, what does that mean? 
Oh, wow. Okay. So it all comes down to making sure that you get low enough to spawn. <laughs> I guarantee I was one in a way. <laughs> so, but to do another one only being one hit away, this is definitely doable and it requires one specific pass and the rest of it is all that, that same timing. It was in front of me, meaning I didn't get low enough fast enough. The rays didn't do the extra pass. I can tell by if this jelly comes up in front of me or if I go up, if it comes up after me. Was it help? Would it help in the pass if the jellyfish wasn't in your way? Yeah, it would. It would. Well, it... No, no, actually not really. We need to bring, I mean, yes, it would make it easier, but the key is to come down here low enough to get both of those low before you work your way back up. So let's see if that was, so we did that. So they're both making a second pass. They're both making a third pass. They both need to make a fourth pass. And then that one doesn't work because that kills me. So, you see how this one was low and I spawned him in low enough. It's the first one. I need to get down lower faster. Okay, I came up with a good pre-fight manip to change the jellyfish, play around with it last night, but wasn't so rusty on the fight. I didn't know if it was good. Maybe you should try it. Okay, good. Let me know. It may be that we want, we want to get down lower. We need to shoot Jaws. I'm going to shoot Jaws four times on the way out. Jaws will come back in sooner. I can get Jaws lower before, uh, this is just my thought. It's actually going to be easier. Actually, I'll shoot Jaws 
13 cannonballs. That makes the beginning easier. Let's just see what happens. If we shoot Jaws in the overworld before the Jaws fight, you need a new save to have enough time to set it up. You go out from the port two tiles to the normal tile, then up and back and down back to the tile. Then you have to shimmy out and back. No, we're not doing that. Uh, colonizer, uh, you, I, I, I am not opposed to trying that, but the one thing that you're doing is you're adding something to the end. Would he, on a difficulty scale of the shimmy, man, you're already so nervous at that part to do that just to change a jellyfish that's really not in the way. Uh, Cause we can do it with that jellyfish. Let me let, I'm going to, I'm going to pin that and let me just see what happens. Cause essentially it's the first jellyfish, the first jellyfish that is not jellyfish, the first ray, the jellyfish doesn't matter. That first ray is spawning in as we're trying to drop. And he's not spawning low enough, meaning we have to drop faster. In order to drop faster, we're not able to hit Jaws as much because we're shooting underneath them and he has to travel to get to the bullets. If we could drop slower, we would hit Jaws more. In order to drop slower, we need to be farther ahead in that by letting Jaws, by only hitting him 13 times with cannonballs, he's potentially gonna be faster. Let me, let me just, let me test two things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. One, two, three, four, five. You see, you see, yes. I, so I am, don't get me wrong, I didn't hit Jaws enough times, correct, like I didn't do it, but because of the delay, I can choose to fight Jaws and hit him more times as I go down, more of a slower stepped approach because that ray here is spawning later, and because he spawns later, he will be low enough. Let's see where these rays are. One, two back and forth I, I i moved up too fast there so it's gonna be it potentially we lost the second one potentially we need to speed up the timing of the second one so we kill that jellyfish let's do 13 and 6. I mean, we're just looking at jellyfish now. Why are we not getting a, a, an extra out of this jellyfish right here? Again. Not going low enough. Yeah. On the overall before the fight, you need the new sa Okay, so that's the same same thing that you brought up before. So colonizer, I uh, hopefully you're following along with what I'm saying. I don't think the jellyfish is our problem. Our problem is properly spawning in the rays, and I can't drop fast enough from the other save.
It looks like a problem because you have to shoot from farther away and be being closer to Jaws would get you better hit rhythm. Right, but you, th this is what I'm trying to get at. A better hit rhythm would mean that I'm bringing Jaws down slower because he's moving slower. If I had a better hit rhythm, it wouldn't matter because I wouldn't be low enough, fast enough to spawn the, the ray low enough. See what I'm saying? I need to slowly hit Jaws by shooting down and bringing Jaws lower quicker because it, which because if I was right on Jaws's butt, look how slow I, I go. Whoops. See how slow you bring him down with a good rhythm? You need to drop your Y lower faster, meaning when you shoot, Jaws has to come down to it. Our rhythm has to be slower, and I'm not able with that rhythm. I just can't bring Jaws down fast enough to spawn the rays low enough because the rays spawn too quickly. But by hitting Jaws less on the first pass, he's entering the screen sooner, allowing me to bring him down at the same rate but the rays are gonna spawn later. Could still potentially be nice to not have them in the way. Let's see where these rays go. They're also off sides. Right? This one's gonna hit me, isn't he? Yeah. I'm not getting down far enough. One ray is not making the, I need to figure out what ray is not making it. What if we were shooting and slowing down rays and their movement? <laughs> All right, so the first ray is going across. It's definitely the first ray. The first ray is going back to the left, but the first ray is not low enough. He's done. The second ray is coming back in. Now, they're both low. And see how they're together? What's the difference there? And now they're both going out the right, and they're both coming back in on this side. And that's perfect. That's what we need. Okay, they're, it's, they're together whether I'm far enough forward or not. It doesn't matter what side they're spawning on. Hmm. So, what happened when we switched it? Do you remember? Uh, remember how we could switch the beginning?
So now I've brought them both in that way. There's an extra pass. I'm even going to get an extra pass on one more of them. I didn't go, I'm not going down near fast enough. But why is that jellyfish there? I'm not out to the right far enough to block him. I need to be out to the right farther, which means I have to go slower. I'm going to get an extra pass out of that one. All right, we're going to go back to the original. Come on, me. Definitely not low enough. Is that low enough? They're both on the side. They both come back for their second pass. They both come back for their third pass. But I'm only going to get one. That top one's out. And that's the first one. So it all comes down to getting down low enough, fast enough. We're not low enough, fast enough. The first one won't make its way back, spawns the jelly. How do we get lower faster? That was it there.
think that was all right. Did we quit Super Mario Bros. 3 already? No, I've got this, I, I've got to work out this new strategy in Jaws. It can really speed up the Jaws fight and it can really, uh, it can be really, really cool. I just have to work out the details. Yeah, do you see the new gold wool? Yeah, shout outs to Jaggy Man for being fucking awesome. That's not low enough. If he does that, he's there. Not low enough. And I get hit. They're on the bottom of the screen, then they're there, then they're there. I came up too fast. This one should be all right. And then the next one's too high. So we need them to be on the bottom of the screen when I'm at the top. Where does that put this last one? Yeah, they need to be going across the bottom of the screen and that should be all right. That one's not low enough. How do I delay it so I can get that down? There it is. Now he's low enough. Okay, all right. We're starting to narrow down exactly what makes this work. After four. Okay, that worked. So the idea is I need to get to here. There's the spawn, there's the spawn. And that's not gonna work. See how they're not directly on the bottom of the screen? When they come back around, I believe they're gonna be too high. Either they're not gonna make the wrap or they're gonna run into my ass. Oh no, they're perfect there. Okay, so um, as far as loading these guys in, right there so this is a good example look at where these guys are this first one's good the next one i think is too high so if we watch them coming across here the first one's going to be here next one's a little higher this first one will go underneath me and the next one's higher and hit ooh almost hits me so now we can tell by the bottom of the screen so let's look at the drop First, first one is definitely good. The second one's too high. If I kill him, that's spawning too fast. So now he's up here because he spawned immediately when I killed the other one. But now the other one spawned too slow.
Nice to pop, nice to poop in and see all the wonderful bee. Isn't it great? Isn't it great? Ah, uh, it's very awesome uh, stream quality of the visuals, but the most boring thing you've ever watched because I am stuck in a uh, SMB3 better not turn into 90 days of anything but Batman. I never said it was going to do that. Ah, uh, distraction level five. No, no, no. No, we said before even Super Mario Brothers, we were gonna we were doing Jaws. We lost it. Poop, that was good. Those are good spawns. How am I gonna? So let's do what Colonizer says. Get a different save state for Jaws. And I'll have to save Jaws before. So let's go back to what Colonizer says because I, I want to test out theories. Games, Jaws, I should have a, a second encounter. That's second overworld. This is second encounter. Oh, no. I don't have it. I don't have it unless it's on the practice cart. All right, let's see if I can go through. Let's see if I can go through and get save states just for shits here. See if I can do everything off of the practice card. Perfect. Oh, my save state button is different. Crap. I have to change my save state button. Yeah, I have to because of the way that I, I have to save it. So I have to save it. Okay. Options. Correct. Save states. Down and select. Okay, again. Didn't get the right input. I believe that was fast enough.
We'll see if it was fast enough. I don't know when this falls apart if it isn't, though. Is colonizer still here? Why does that happen? I get the crab, but why am I not getting it? There. Should be good. All right, looks like all the practicing has helped. I moved over too far. What's up, I baby? I just opened the garage door so I could leave. Uh -huh. And I looked and I saw something, so I went back and checked. I'm pretty sure when I closed the garage door last time, I switched a frog. Oh, weird. How is it? Like, his head is all brown. I tried to nudge him with my boots. Like, oh, he's, he's alive. He didn't move and his head is brown, but his body is normal colored. I feel like I, like, hemorrhaged his head. Will you come look at him? I am now the frog inspector. Hold on a second. We'll do this. I don't know how long it takes to inspect a frog. Do they have a word bank? No. Well, it's it's all words that we use on the screen. Let's do one more. Oh, My oh, wife oh, thinks yeah. this is fun. Yeah, that's your face. Ooh, tricky one. Wow. I fail to see the problem with everything being covered in chili. Got it. Obviously, it's morning butthole. That's a long one. Known. You should have. You should have known. What's, what's a morning butthole? <laughs> Haven't we talked about this before? No, but I don't really care. Uh, <laughs> so tomorrow is Sasha's birthday, but you also know stream tomorrow. <laughs> well, stream late tomorrow. I before E always when sounding like hey. Zoltan, pie hype. Nintendork, hi. How is school for you? I know you start it, and it really is dumb. I know it is dumb because you told me so, and we are really good buddies. According to Jaws, does not stay the same. The distance and the time it takes for our shot to get to Jaws will be different. So our cadence can be exact, but if our distance is changing, the shots will not hit the same. So not only do we have to keep our shots consistent, we also need to keep our location as opposed to Jaws very, very consistent as well. And that's for the first couple passes at the time. Oh, I slid into his butthole. Oh, don't, don't, no, 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 no. no. Why do I talk? Dang it! Thank you for being Matt D. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what was that?
Nope, can not get to watch it? And I'll get to see it. Not a lot. Uh, it's fine. She, it, it, it's sitting there. It'll move. It'll blink and start to. I mean, it's it's not super active. It's kind of cold outside. It, uh, the head of the frog was wet and the body wasn't wet because there's a little puddle in the driveway. Uh, she's like, it's not hopping away. It's a, I don't think frogs are as, or, or it's a toad. I don't think toads are the same. Like frogs tend to be a little bit more like, fuck it, I'm out of here. Uh, toads are kind of more lazy ish. I could be wrong, but I think it's fine. Go freaking fish redemption. The guess is for shadow gate. I don't think I have shadow gate. Who guessed that? Oh, chip TV. I don't think I even own it myself, so I would say it's not in there. I'll check. I don't care. Don't threaten me with a good time. No shadow gate. Yeah, Moto B, it seems like he thinks he's hiding. Uh, so. Yeah. Who makes the wolf howl? I love that. Poop. I don't think that was good. Save states are dumb. I'm holding up. There we go, that's good. Now I can save it out of here. So I see what uh, colonizer is doing here, and I think it does make sense. Uh, it doesn't have to be fast. So you just go out, up, down, over, back, and that will move that guy. So let's see if we can get a save state with that. That's Jaws' fin where it's supposed to be. Oh crap, that's the save state. Okay. Down and uh, after the encounter, down. Nope, now he's on the other side. Fudge. And I don't I have to go all the way through it. Uh, all right, let's rework this. Let's rework it in my thoughts. Let's let's just say we've got to get. Maybe we can do it a pass later, and it'll allow us to go down slower and get the the things. Let's look for a different pass. Let's look for a different pass. It doesn't have to be the first pass. Jaws, Jaws fight. I will go back to that, uh, but right now. Uh. 
I gotta change the save state buttons. <sighs> Thanks for being here and for your patience. Oh, Chris, thank you for the gift sub to Chip TV. I'm doing a terrible job as a streamer today, if you guys haven't noticed. I'm into uh, I'm into thought mode. You know my brain and how it's not good. I just went there and loaded the save state that was already loaded and it didn't change the button of the save state, which is the original reason to go there. I can do it. So there's that guy. This is the this is what we're trying to do. That actually is is good, I think. No, not quite low enough. So. My problem is I can't get low enough on that pass. We, we can get low enough. You should do no damn it. You should do a damageless cuphead, cup hat. I'm guessing you're saying cuphead. I've played enough cuphead to know how uh, ridiculous that actually is. It would depend on the difficulty level and stuff, but uh, no damage Cuphead would be really hard. I played through, uh, well, I played through the whole game except for I think the one or two levels that I didn't play. We were playing it uh, in, in Florida. Okay, so now we're on the other side. We did one pass. Remember, this dive pass can happen anywhere. Let's try it here. So that's not a good timing for the rays. So see that ray there? Not only do I not get this ray low enough, but also the other ray that unloads is a jellyfish. So it's just not the right timing of the, the enemies. So we'll have to go back another pass. So now we're here. So we've got two rays that unload, but we're loading in a jellyfish and a ray. So again, we have a jellyfish and a ray. It's easy to get that ray down there in the right spot, but it doesn't give us an extra pass on that jelly one. And that ray's not low enough anyways. All right. That, this is it.
Yeah, but see, I can't get low enough for that, Ray. You know, I don't think this works anywhere except for at the very beginning. What we're trying to do only works at the beginning. Uh, ask PMR if it is possible damageless. Cuphead feels like heart as Jekyll and Hyde damageless. Oh, drunk justice. Uh, apples and oranges. Uh, Cuphead, there are patterns, there are things, there are ways to learn. Uh, Jekyll and Hyde is a broken RNG mess. There's going to be times that you're trying to play Jekyll and Hyde. You just can't do it. It's There will be absolutely times in Jekyll and Hyde where it is impossible because of what the game decides to do. Every time you try Cuphead, it is possible to do it damageless because it, they have set patterns and set things. There's, a, there's enough to know about the patterns. It's a well-designed game. Uh, from what I saw, every and, and you can go on YouTube, there's plenty of videos of people doing each boss without damage. Some of them are pretty darn hard, and to do the culmination of the entire game would be really a challenge. I think some people have attempted it. There may be someone that's even done it. I'm not sure. But I would not put them in the same category as... Jekyll and Hyde, the reason for it being difficult is because it's broken. And there's going to be plenty of times you're not even having a chance. And uh, Cuphead is going to be difficult, but not in a broken way. It's just going to be difficult to do. Okay. I'm not lowering him fast enough I'm, if I'm good. Cuphead is an impossible game that made me lose hair while playing. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, Cuphead's fun. It's fun. Have we tried newer games on the uh, Do They Work? They do work, James, uh, uh, or J Games. I was able to play both uh, on the Minecraft server just as a show off, and then I threw Skyrim in. Uh, Skyrim worked pretty well, which is pretty awesome. It's not low enough. I went up too fast. Even though I know no one else likes it, I don't care, I love it. How do we do this better? How do we do it better? I mean, those are okay. It's 
not low enough. I'll go back to the beginning of it. And that's good there, but I'm losing too much time. I can't bring him down fast enough. What if I did? <laughs> Got him at the end there. So, we could potentially delay it enough, but it makes the fight slow. Must have been very close there. Must have been very close. <sighs> I remember playing this with the NES Advantage is using turbo to fire the spears. 
Zach, that doesn't do a tur turbo would be slower. Turbo would be slower. Uh, and it's not that I'm actually pressing the buttons that fast. I believe it's 26, 23, 20 some frames. Uh, in between iframes of JAWS. The turbo controller, because you can only have three shots on the screen at one time, and the turbo controller goes 15 presses per second, which is every four frames. Uh, that means it would be shooting on frame zero, four, eight, 12, uh 16 20 24 28 let's say it's 26 frames that means even if you started well you would you'd start on the hit it would be two frames off on each button press and right now i'm aiming for 22 hits 23 in order to get 23 hits in a pass i need to out of the 23 hits 18 of them have to be frame perfect and I'm allowed five frames off using the turbo. You would be two frames off on every hit. Oh, I thought Zach, I thought you were asking the question if it would be better now. I guess I, uh, I, I guess I missed understood that i thought you were asking would the turbo controller be a better would would be a better sit for for the jaws fight i thought that's what you were asking did i get low enough One's good, the other one hits me. The other one wasn't low enough. That first one's not low enough. Had to have been like one hit off. <sighs> I need a second to process what I need to try to do here. I need to have. I need to be where at? One, two. That's too low. in the middle here if i'm in the middle that's actually not quite low enough so just below the middle of the the blue here that's perfect so i need to be down here if i'm down here when these guys spawn in they will be in the right spot but i need to be down there for both of them to spawn in First one spawns in. If I do that, they'll spawn faster, and that's where they need to be. But I need to be hitting Jaws a lot of times before that. So what if I go directly to there?
but I'm not getting Jaws back up to the top. I need to bring Jaws down low enough with the correct timing to bring the guys down. I need to shoot, I definitely need to get down low and shoot that. So that works all except for in that pass, I'm not hitting Jaws enough. Those guys are not low enough. That guy's not low enough. Those guys aren't low enough. Killed the ray. So my brain is shutting down. Keeping forward enough on Jaws. How close am I? It's got to be right there. <sighs> it's driving me crazy right now. If I could get like a 17 hit and get the rays in the right spot, I'm golden. That's only a 15. It's only a 15. I don't know if I can. Uh... If I try to drop sooner here. Just not getting enough hits on Jaws. One. Ten. You know what I mean? And I also need to be able to hit Jaws. I need to get Jaws up fast enough so that I can immediately start hitting him on the next pass.
You could dodge him at the end. Which really, dodging him at the end is not a bad strategy. <sighs> Poop! I don't know if we can do that consistently. Keep practicing. Really, the jellyfish is in the way, but it's not in the way. It's good, but I'm not hitting him enough. How do I get, how do I balance that? The count of my brain is broken and I don't like it anymore. Eh, and I can't. So, um, guys, I have a real terrible problem with uh, getting stuck on things that I can't figure out. Like, I, like, oh, well, let's just play some SMB3. Let's just, do, I, I can't do that right now. I can't do that right now. I can't do that right now. This is in my head. Try turning it off and on again. <laughs> All right, let's go back through and let's do what Colonizer was talking about, about adjusting the location of that spawn and see if it helps. All right, I can save state it properly, can I? Yes, I can save state it properly for the most part. Except for the second encounter. Turning my brain on and off, that'd be nice. I don't know how to do this though. Uh, I tried to do it in one go. So from this save state, I need to switch save state buttons. Let me go, this is just for the Jaws fight. Games, Jaws. This is my new, I'm, I'm eliminating my Jaws fight so I gotta do it right. So this is gonna be where Jaws fight is. We're gonna save it here. Yes. We're going to change the save state button to down and select. We're going to load. Too fast. Load. Now we're gonna get the save state in. Sapphire says, what emulator is that? This isn't an emulator. This is an EverDrive. Uh, all right, I save stated it. Now I need to change this save state to, uh, no, I can leave it as down for now. Um, so this is one of these, Sapphire. It allows you to put ROMs on a little drive. This is just a, like a one gigabyte scan disk thing. You put the ROMs on this and then I can load it into my actual front loader 
and it works very similar to an emulator allowing you to have save states and whatnot but it's working on the actual hardware so there's no input delay and things like that okay So that's the encounter there. Well, that's awesome. It is. Uh, you can get ever drives or power packs. They're called a ROM, a ROM cart, a ROM cart. All right, so I gotta go again. All right, so we can get another save state here. Like right there. But now I need to change the save state to right so I can save state it. No, to left so I can save state it exactly when I come out of the final thing. So let's change uh, games, Jaws, Jaws fight, save. Change the save state button. That's the one difficulty here is in order to do save states, you have to use the buttons that are on the controller. And the buttons on the controller oftentimes do things. And what we're doing in JAWS is very frame specific. Uh, so we can't lose frames by taking even the fraction of a second to press buttons. So this should be good. We'll get Jaws' fin. We're going to get Jaws' fin right there. There it is. Up. And now when I come out of here, I can press right and select. There. Okay, so now I have this save state. I should go over, up, over, back. Jaws on the left. Okay. This should be what I'm looking for. Um, let me save it here. Games, Jaws, Jaws fight, save. Okay, so now we have a save state that goes over, up, over, over, boom. So, that jellyfish is not in our way, which is a, is solid. So let's let's uh, get it in the fight first. So here, there it is. So. See, I've got him in the right spot, but I'm so freaking far away. But those are definitely in a good spot. Much easier to get him there.
This is doable now. So that was big. I'm Leave it up to Space Colonizer to come up with a good idea. I didn't realize how bad that jellyfish was in the way. Okay, again. Oh no, what what was that one? Like that's 16 and one's close. I'm going up too fast. Now we got jellyfish in the way again. <laughs> I missed one shot on the turnaround, but that should be all right. Uh, Boodershank, what's going on, bud? Welcome. Thank you for the that 10. Quote is from the land before time. That quote is from the land before time. It is not. And that isn't even close. You're much less attractive when I'm sober from the land before time. You're funny. You're a funny guy. You're very funny. Oh, you're very funny. Okay. Okay. We're starting to narrow in on something. It is all about the drop shot and the raise, which is here. So one of them was too high. Those are good, but I didn't get enough hits. So we, we've accomplished one thing. We've given ourselves an easier drop shot, but we do have one stingray in our way that we're going to have. Not stingray, but one uh, jellyfish. Yeah. 
I didn't drop fast enough. He who has no life. Thank you for the 100 bits. Hi, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Welcome. <sighs> this is hurting me today. This is makes me, I need to take a shower. Oh my gosh. I wonder if Zero the Fourteenth's in here. Already taking a break? No. So what we've been doing Super Mario Brothers three in the mornings, and then following up with Jaws. Last Jaws, uh, last Jaws run that I did, I kind of reworked and fell upon a strategy that could really help us. Uh, and when I get a new thought or a new idea in my head, I can't let it go. So right now I'm just stuck on working out this new approach to the Jaws fight. Uh, and I can't, I can't focus on anything or do anything else until I figure it out. Alright, so I'm not getting low fast enough. Jellyfish in our way now. <sighs> that adds a certain level of difficulty to being able to get it. If we have to do that, great, and then have to mess around with the jellyfish, it just makes it that much worse. It seems like if we're a little bit slower, we miss all the bad jellyfish. But if we're a little bit slower, we don't kill Jaws before Baby Shark comes in. Thank you. 
That couldn't have been too far off there. I can't tell what's falling apart now. I can't tell what is... I can't tell what's going on. This is as low... I gotta be one lower. I don't think that's low enough. No. Why is it closer? Why is it closer than it was before? I feel like when we had the other Jaws set up, it wasn't that close. Like as long as I had like a 15 or a 16 on the dive pass and had good Jaws fight, I was killing Jaws early. Why is it so much farther? It's like the mini shark is, is, is spawning in later but I'm not getting as many hits in.
how am I not getting as many hits in? This encounter is different. It's spawning enemies in faster or it's doing something different. Which is all right. That means it doesn't matter. I'm still killing Jaws at the same amount of time. You almost ready to put together full attempts? He has no, no life. You're talking for Super Mario Brothers 3. We're already doing full attempts. We had a two hit yesterday. Day before yesterday, we had a two hit. Um, Hans Gruba. Welcome, Hans. Yeah, we had a two hit of Mario a couple days ago. Uh, and then this is ready as soon as I can tweak this Jaws fight. Look at that dumb shark getting shot in the butt. Oh, I meant attempts at this rather than save state practice. I love to see a run all put together. Uh, yeah, we're, like I said, I'm, I'm there. Jaws is a very interesting speed run because of the level of complexity in the speed run. Uh, we're not without, so we need to tweak the rest of the Jaws fight and because it's so difficult to get to Jaws, you have to really over practice it because you may only see Jaws in a, in a four or five hour grind. You may only see Jaws once, twice. You have to have the Jaws fight down. Otherwise, you're just wasting time with full runs because if you get to Jaws and you're not ready to, to fight him fast enough, all of the rest of it's pointless. So it's a bit of a weird, uh, it's a bit of a weird scenario. And right now, until I can tweak this Jaws fight, I can't do full runs. Is that the right spot? See, he's up too high. I'm, I'm going down fast, but then I'm ending up taking him too low because I'm trying to get too fast. Can I kill that ray or that jelly? Okay, that's it. That's the that is a uh, uh, a world record Jaws fight, but with a big butt. Oh, and he goes left. Okay. Woo! Woo! 
Never thought about it that it would affect the final Jaws charge. He goes left then back to the right, so we're fine. You should never go down fast. It's all in, everything relies on this pass from right to left. We need to, in this pass, we have to start on the right side. We need to shoot Jaws, follow Jaws down until we are at least here. We need to be, if you look at the distance, ooh, I should use the top of the screen. Uh, but basically, if you look at the distance, I use this black, darker part and the and where the waves start to come in. This is halfway. I'm just below halfway. If I'm here, these guys spawn in. And if you see when I scroll up, uh, they're on the bottom of the screen. That means they'll make one extra pass, two extra passes, and three extra passes without hitting me. If I come down and I only go halfway, there they spawn in, but they're up high enough now that they make one extra pass, two extra passes, and there's a good chance they'll hit me on extra pass number three. So I need to be, and I used, I need to use the top of the screen, I think. I need to be to there. So I have to shoot Jaws, stay on his butt, and drop him down to at least here before this guy spawns, and then stay down here until that guy spawns and then go back up. But my problem is, is I'm not hitting him enough times and now I'm not up to the top and ready to shoot Jaws on the way in. So I either need to get Jaws That was good for the first one, but I moved up too fast. And I'm getting hit because I moved up too fast. The problem that lot in the problem that is here is by the time I come down and that ray spawns, I need to be moving back up. And if I move back up, so the only other thing I can do is try to. Kill that jellyfish. If I killed the jellyfish, because you'll see this next ray loads in after that jellyfish dies. If I could kill him there, essentially both guys would spawn in at the same time and then I could start moving up immediately. He drops a fucking item. <laughs> Earlier today, we wanted item drops. Now we don't. I want him to die so that the other jelly or the other ray. Uh, uh, uh. 
I need one more hit in there. I guess it's a uh, beautiful an emote. Jaggy man with the gold wolf emote. Is that Jaggy's? Oh, skip. Is it howling? Oh, it is howling. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh, I love that. Weevil of Doom, did you see it? Oh, uh, look at it in its glory. Oh, yes. Ida May approves. That, that gold wolf is Ida May approved. Okay. Piss. Oh, man. Oh. And then he goes left and comes back right. Oh, no. So we're going to have all so we're gonna have all sorts of different Jaws patterns. But as long as he's going right at the end with most of them, we're good. So that's two. That is it right there. Holy cow, that is it. All right, so let's see if he does go right. Yeah, left and then back right. It's gonna make for a harder jaw stab. What's the strategy? Why such a slow rate, fire rate? Uh, Bucky Allen, um, the slow fire rate is very important because when you shoot jaws, 
Jaws goes into what we call iframes or invincibility frames. So if we watch Jaws, you hear that and then he slows down a little bit. So let's watch him right here. And when you hit him, he goes slows down, his tail wiggles a little. He is in that wiggle for, uh, I believe it's 26 frames. The game runs at uh, 60 frames a second. While he's there, you can't hit him again. So if we shoot twice fast, it only hits him once. So if you watch here, that's still, I, I shot three times, but he only got hit once. If you mash the buttons, normal mashing speed is... You hear the bloop, bloop, bloop? Let's count them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen hits. Mashing at fifteen hits. Now let's count them if I'm doing it at a slow pace. Twenty-two. The reason why we don't mash or try to go faster is because it makes us slower in the end. Uh, if it takes you 10 frames to press the button and he's available to be hit on frame 26, but you press the button on frame 25, you're not going to press it again until frame 35 and you're going to lose nine frames. Uh, you do that a bunch of times and you're losing a full second. Uh, it comes down to how effectively we can hit Jaws. We are doing, this Jaws fight, fight is, uh, is extremely precise. So in order, this is gonna be maybe kind of hard to follow, but in order to hit Jaws 23 times, which I've done a good handful of times, you need to hit him, because I did, that one was 22. 22, you have a little more room for error. Uh, 23 means that 18 of the times that you press the button were frame perfect, meaning within the accuracy of 1 60th of a second. Your button timing is perfect. One frame earlier, you'd be too early. One frame later, you're losing time. Uh, oh, wait, what? Vintage toys, what are you talking about? So uh, hopefully that answers your question. Uh, JB from New York, how's it going? Uh, hopefully that answers your question, uh, Bucky Allen or Floyd. The idea is we're trying to fight Jaws and beat Jaws as fast as it possibly can be done. And to do that is a very, very, very precise and tricky thing to do. Um... I missed too many shots, it's over. So in each one of these encounters with uh, any of the enemies in this game, in each one of the encounters, the game spawns enemies like that jellyfish over there and like that ray right there. Every encounter, the game is set to load in a particular amount of enemies. At the end of this encounter, once it is loaded in all of the enemies, a baby shark appears. Uh, the baby shark gets in your way and will kill you. You have to kill Jaws before the baby shark appears. In order to do that, we must make the uh, some of the rays live a little bit longer. So what I'm doing here is at the very beginning of the fight, I'm diving down to about here and I'm letting one two rays and I'm specifically letting these rays load in at exactly this level that way when I'm back up here fighting jaws again those rays 
We'll go out, back in once, back in twice, and back in three times, but be just low enough to not hit me. That is the that is the secret to this new Jaws uh, fight. By doing that, those rays are alive for three more passes. That's going to postpone when uh, Baby Shark shows up and allow me to kill Jaws just before Baby Shark gets to us. And that's what I'm trying to do now. See how I got hit by that guy? I didn't get low enough, fast enough to spawn that ray down low enough. So when I'm when I'm bringing Jaws down here, I need to bring him down fast enough so that this ray here spawns low enough. If I don't bring him down fast enough, he's up a little too high. He'll hit me on the on his fourth pass. And this is already over. He has dived too deep and needs to decompress before returning to the surface. So what I really need to do now is I need to find a way. I'm diving down. I need to find a way of bringing Jaws back up quicker. Because here's optimal. Here I am. I'm at the bottom. This is great. I'm going to spawn the guy in, but if I go up, it brings the next jellyfish or the next ray too high. So it doesn't work the way that I want it to. I need to be able to wait at the bottom just long enough for that ray. See, those rays are good, but look how far I am away. I'm missing like four shots on Jaws on the way in. And then that, that guy was too close, so I hit him and killed him. <sighs> Y'all put sugar in any bread, and I'm not talking to you. Zero four, or, or Ugly Owl, all bread has sugar in it. Well, maybe not all bread. Most bread that you've ever eaten has had sugar in it. Why are we talking about bread, though? Think about cornbread. I love cornbread. I love cornbread, too. As a sunner, the answer is yes. Unless you put sugar in it, then you can go straight to hell. It has sugar in it. Well, cornbread, maybe not so much. The corn itself is going to be a little bit sweet. Bread has sugar in it. The yeast eats sugar to make the bread inflate with air. Yeast eats sugar. Some of it comes from the flour, but anybody that makes bread knows that you add sugar. In Australia, too, in the land down under and in the land up over in Canada, 
both places. For beer, yes, and for bread. Look up a bread recipe. Bread recipe. I want you to find a bread recipe that doesn't have sugar in it. It's not, it's not normally a lot. You, but they add sugar. Ingredients. Quarter cup sugar. There's one. We can go down. Actually, it'd be better off. Uh, Ugly Al, you find me a bread recipe that doesn't use sugar. And then you make that bread recipe. And then you bring that bread recipe to me when you come here on the 19th. I know, Inspector, I'm just picking on Ugly Al at this point. Yeah, you mean by adding extra sugar to cornbread to make it like a sweet cornbread? I'll do it. You prove it. Prove it. Susumu says sugar is used for the yeast to make it rise. So yeah, sugar is kind of requ of a requirement for breads. Uh-huh. That's what I'm saying. You can, don't get me wrong, you can make a bread that doesn't have any sugar in it. You can just use salt and flour and water and yeast, and you can make a bread. 99% of breads that you are going to purchase have sugar added to them to help help in the yeast making extra uh, CO2, making extra bubbles, making the bread lighter and fluffier. Even your, your wheats and even your, I mean, they have sugar in them. You can make it without, but no one does. Very little people do. Adding up to 5% of sugar will sp speed up fermentation as it will feed the yeast in the initial stages before enzymes begin to break down. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, 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 yep. However, it isn't necessary to add sugar. I'm not saying it's necessary. I'm saying Ugly Owl, the, the bread that you eat, that you get from the store, has sugar in it. That's what I'm saying. I guess I should be more, uh, I should be more precise. I'm not saying that you can't make or it is a necessary. I'm just saying, you said, if you add sugar to bread, I just don't agree with that. I think that it can be made without, but any bread that you are buying that comes from a store has sugar in it. Well, that's not exactly true as well. You could probably buy some specialty kind of bread that they didn't put it in there. But if you're eating it, it has sugar in it. What was I doing? I'm kind of lightheaded now. I love sourdough bread. That's true. It makes my mouth water as I eat it. I love that part. I don't subscribe to the opinion of Spooners. <laughs> uh, oh, it's Jaws. Shaper on it is Jaws. Can we make bread when I come for a sleepover? Absolutely, 100%. Actually, you know what we could do? We can make bread and we can also make uh, pizza. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. We'll make pizza on Saturday night. And we'll make bread on Saturday. We'll make it all. Who's bringing the yeast? I already have it. I make breads with buckets of sugar. Someone said it, Zero the 14th is now Zero the Hero because he said it the best. A teaspoon of sugar. What is it? A teaspoon of sugar helps the medicine go down or something like that. A bucket of sugar gives you diabetes. <laughs> you bring the sugar. Good. Good, you should. Uh, I love that. 
Sourdough bread is the bomb. And for mo most of the brands, they don't have soy lectane. Lectin. I don't know what that means. Are you doing movie night this Friday? Not this Friday, Sassy, because next, not this coming Sunday, but the following Sunday. Does everybody know what day that is? I'll wait for someone to write it in the chat. Stupid fish. Uh. Whoa, 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 whoa. April 14th, per Gummer Day. That's what I'm talking about. Why won't you be sassy? Wait a minute. The day before my daughter's birthday, Inspector, your daughter was born the day before Burt Gummer Day? Amazing. We're gonna all get all up in some graboids. I am so excited. If the medicine is insulin, we break even. <laughs> uh, and the weekend of the 2021st is when Owl will be at your house. Yeah, the weekend of the 19th, 20th, 21st is when uh, Owl will be here. Uh, National Burt and Ernie Day, no, Burt Gummer Day. This is the most triggering part of Jaws for me. Oh yeah, Sassy, I'm sorry about that. Question for Sassy, why is it exactly the 14th I'll be at my in-laws for my daughter's birthday? Don't they wanna watch all seven Trevor Tremors movies back to 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 back? To back, I think. Chaser says, I wanted to hang out with Owl. Chaser, so you are coming? Is you're not being very uh, good with letting people or good. I want to. We need to know. I think. Last time you said no, or no, you said I don't know. I'm confused. I also don't remember very well. If Reba ain't in it, I don't want to see it. They're, well, they're, she's not in all of them. Didn't she make, she made an appearance in like, uh, like in seven. They should desire this. Thank you, Chaser. Uh, well, here's the thing, Sassy. Just jump in and say hi. It's going to be a all day. It's seven movies. It takes like 14 hours to get through them all. You're not going to be... Uh, tied up for 14 hours. You know what I mean? You know, you know what I mean? Seven movies of awesome, straight to your face. I just wish I had popped out. So hold on, wait, wait, wait. what if we did it Saturday? I know that we always want to do it on April 14th, but we're not always going to be able to do it on April 14th. Hey, 
How about Saturday, Sassy? Sunday is best. You don't make up all the rules, okay? Saturdays are teenage pool party. Again, a place full of people wanting to watch Graboids for 14 hours. Did I get those in the right spot? They look like they're in the right spot. I mean, come on. I always make sense. Okay. What? You take away his... How do you make a pirate angry take away his pee? That doesn't even make any sense. That doesn't even make any sense! Holy cow! Wait... Weevilo, 10 gift subs, somehow that slipped through the cracks. The wolf didn't help. Streamlabs has been really dumb. Weevilo of Doom, Streamlabs didn't even give you your house. I'm mad. Oh, I see. You turned pirate into irate. That's funny. I'm sorry, Weevilo of Doom. I can't even do anything about that. That's stupid. So Streamlabs yesterday was being dumb. It also says my live is unstable, which it's the most stable it's ever been. Has it shown your super awesome redemption from yesterday? I think, maybe. You can howl for me 10 times. I'm no fool. I'm no fool. I may be Ida May, but I am not howling at your command. You're not my mom. Man, I'm not doing it. I am not going to do it. No, I'm not doing it. No. No, I'm playing a video game and kind of busy. So... the bot hold your horses not doing it Oh, I didn't do enough of them. They are narwhals. Narwhals, you hear me? Vintage George, I think it probably is a narwhal. Look at its gaping mouth. That's like a trademark narwhal thing, I think. I think that's what narwhals do.
Who makes the wolf howl? There's a wolf howling. See, Weeblo, that's how you do it. Sassy knows how to do it. You should take notes. There's one. Sub to howl like a wolf. There you go. Howl like a wolf. Welcome in. And enjoy your, your complimentary bag of nuts. You've been doing it wrong 1,670 times. The whole time. The whole time? 37 in a row. Okay, Tiny Sal, you're back on this app. Why are you not over with Schaefer Rob on the Tic Tacity? Sassy with a gift sub to sub to Norway. Way below, there you go. You didn't have to do that. I mean, it's very nice of you, but you didn't have to because your face looks sharper here. Sometimes I sharpen my beard by doing this and then my face looks really sharp. Sometimes I'll take my beard and I'll do this. And it looks like my face farted and went, get it? Face fart. Sometimes I do that. This is one of those times. This is one of those times. Face fart. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Looks just like it. Spreads it wide open. Mine does that all the time. Farts, your face does. Vintage toys, if your face is farting, you may want to get that checked out. Piss. <sighs> I want a better setup than this. Sorry, it's distracting now. I want a better setup than this. This is too, this is too touchy. It's too touchy. You can't get back up. Those are just low enough. my brain how can we do this differently how can we do it differently where it doesn't we have to drop them down for that many passes we can't do it at a different time this is the way to do it we can't shoot the jellyfish let's go back to the first
because one of the things that we So that allows me to go This is killing me! I've never seen, even seen Jaws in this game. I've played it for hours. <laughs> oh yeah, really? Hey, uh, Jennings, Smod Jennings. The very beginning of the game. You ready? Very beginning of the game. This is gonna make you mad if you've never seen Jaws. And then we'll wait. <laughs> wait for it. <gasps> wait for it. Hello. Look, it's Jaws. At the very beginning. He, it, to be honest with you, when you start the game, he's al he always exists in the overworld. He's always swimming around. If you wait long enough, he'll just come get you. He'll just come get you. But normally, no one's ever going to do that. You know, when you, you start the game, you're going to go around and swim and, and stuff like that. So uh, it's not something that you're going to see because you're going to go around here. And after you move 11 tiles, it's going to put you in an encounter. But it's kind of funny. Not a lot of people know that you can just wait for Jaws and you'll show up. Maybe you are in need of reinventing the Jaws fight. Like when you reinvented Zelda 2, any percent, think outside of the box, a simpler method. PLB, that's actually what we're doing. So the Jaws fight I'm doing now is we're in the middle of reinventing it, and I, it's not quite there yet. Uh, change RNG again, says Joker. There's not a whole lot we can do Ladies and gentlemen, the concept is very simple. The, the encounter, so uh, PLB and, and Joker, I don't know uh, what you guys are, are, know about it, but the concept is simple. If we stay on the top and fight Jaws, we're the most accurate we can be and we can get lots of hits and go really, really fast. Staying on the top, best. Easiest way to hit Jaws the most times. If you stay on the top, the game goes through the enemies too fast and the encounter is over before you can kill Jaws. It'll spawn in the baby shark. Fighting Jaws with baby shark, not good. So we need to extend the encounter a little bit. So right now, we're going down to right here. We're loading in that guy and that guy. These two rays 
so that when we come up to the top, those two rays will make one extra pass, two extra passes, and a third extra pass and not hit us. You gotta load them just low enough. I just mean to get that jelly to not drop the shell. There's potentially, I mean, we can't do anything uh, up to this point. So what if we did What if we went one, two, three? That's Jaws from the left. Let's see. Hold on. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. So, that was the right jellyfish, but I think he's going to drop a thing. So let's try again. Whoops. One, two, three. No, I don't need to kill him. Still dropping the shell. I want something tasty. I'm hungry too. Fight your face with that baby shark. Maybe you are in need. Okay, we already did that. Uh, so, so that's not good. These are all shallow encounters. That's deep. There's no kill there, so we could potentially get them both to spawn in there faster. Problem with this is now and so we're losing probably a half a second. We can't risk, we can't lose a half a second. It would have to be here. So is that, let's just look at the potential for that. I think he's in the way just like he is on the other side, but let's see. Whoops. Saved it in the wrong spot. I almost can't do this anymore right now. We're five hours into the same fight. <laughs> you want to know what it takes to do speedrun world records? Play Jaws for five hours in the exact same spot.
Damn it. Perfect. So those guys are in the right spot. You can get world record. Yeah, but Joker, two things. I can get world record with the old fight, but this, if I can find a way around this thing, I will, I will cut a couple seconds off the fight, which I'm very excited to do. I think that would be cool. Also, the old fight had a drop shot and two or three turning, it was much more difficult to do. And there's going to be a lot of runs that don't aren't that aren't good. Uh, with the with the new route, it only has it's just the one encounter. Once you get that, it's all straight timing. Bognish says this game was so hard. Bognish, a lot of people didn't know how to play it. If you know how to play it, the game's actually pretty pretty short and sweet. Uh, we're doing a speed run of the game, which isn't a typical playthrough. I went down way too far. What about Friday the 13th? That game was hard. Well, uh, so uh, Boognish, I think is the, is the name. <laughs> so I happen to work with a guy uh, and help write guidebooks. We've done an easy way guidebook to Jaws. And there's also a hardcover easy way guidebook to Friday the 13th that shows you how you can beat both games, but not just beat both games, beat both games very easily. 8-Bit uh, Steve is the author or the, the guy that came up with the idea for the guidebooks. He gave his Friday the 13th uh, guidebook to 10 eight-year-old kids. Uh, nine of them beat it first try. Eight-year-old kids that don't play Nintendo. Uh, just by following along. Knowledge is power when it comes to the old uh, NES games. Uh, what I like to do, uh, Boognish, is I like to beat games either really fast or I beat games without taking damage. So uh, I've done quite a few no damage playthroughs of games, old Nintendo games that are really hard. I've done uh, Jaws. I've done a whole slew of games that way. Uh, I really like to nitpick games. Um, I don't play much on the Super Nintendo. I have done a link to the past without damage. That was the one Super Nintendo. Um, you say Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Never played the game. Uh, Ghost and Goblins for the original Nintendo. I have a no damage uh, playthrough of that. It's a one loop playthrough. Some people think some people say because at the end he sends you back to the beginning. You need to do two loops for it to be uh, an actual playthrough. But it's the same game you play twice. Uh, it just things get a little bit faster the second time. But I have a one loop playthrough of Ghosts and Goblins. I don't know about Super Ghouls and Ghosts. It's not a game that I played. Uh, it has been brought up a lot to do a no damage playthrough. I just haven't really put any time into the Super Nintendo library. Not low enough. I 
All right, one guy wasn't low. The first one wasn't low enough. You should try it. Uh, SNES is superior to NES. Ah, it depends on when you grew up. I grew up playing the Nintendo, uh, the original, and that's where the games that I grew up playing are. So I don't, uh, I don't uh, discredit the Super Nintendo has got fantastic games. And they did everything, not everything right. They had a better idea of what they're doing. So the game quality, uh, the game design, it's all better. Uh, the Nintendo has maybe more games released on it. A lot of them are broken and garbage. Uh, I tend to, I tend to just have the nostalgia for the games on the Nintendo that I played a lot. My mom got it for us and we were so mad we didn't get an Atari. Really? How long did it take you to uh, change your tune? <laughs> Ness is best, I agree. But that's just for me. I like Super Nintendo. Uh, I have, a so I play, I've got the regular Nintendo there. I've got the super Nintendo there and I've got the 64 there. So, uh, all three of them are hooked up. Uh, I just stay, I've got a challenge. I've kind of challenged myself to see how many regular Nintendo games I can beat without taking damage. So that's kind of my, we call it, uh, uh, flawless Ness. So uh, I tend to stay on the, the original console, but that doesn't mean that I don't branch out to other things as well. Internet didn't exist back then, so we didn't have any idea what the Nintendo was. I know that. Uh, uh, Boognish, uh, name some games on the uh, regular Nintendo. That would be very hard. We'll see if they're on my list. <laughs> Is that guy low enough? He's not low enough. Damn it. Those guys are low enough there, though. One of my favorite NES games is Destiny of the Emperor. Never played it. Never played it. What is the game that SMB2 American version was ripped off of? Yeah, Doki Doki Panic. So where does this guy spawn? The timing is the same and he's spawning here. So this guy's actually spawning a little farther to the right. And that's why this is good. Kid Icarus, it's funny you say that. I've got it sitting beside me. Uh, I don't know what my time is in Kid Icarus anymore. I think I was third place for a while speed running Kid Icarus. Uh, but I didn't take it too far. I've done, uh, I routed it for no damage. I have a three hit playthrough of Kid Icarus. Uh, and then I also, I just really enjoy playing through the game and getting, uh, uh, doing the best ending. It's kind of fun. Oh, Rygar. Uh, in fact, uh, Bognish, I still have the world record in Rygar for the speed run. Uh, the speed run that I do of Rygar, it's, it's glitched and broken. Uh, six minutes and 40 some seconds. I can't remember. It's been years now. Uh, really enjoy Rygar. Uh, I tend to do any percent speed runs uh, because I like, I like learning how to do glitches and stuff in games. I just find it fun. I still do full playthroughs of the games. Like right now, my current project is uh, Super Mario Brothers 3. Uh, no damage, but all the worlds. And then uh, we're also doing battle toads, uh, no warps, uh, all dam or, or no damage. Uh, it's but with speed runs, it's like I like to do play through the full game, 
without taking damage. That's fun. Don't skip anything, play through the whole game. But if it's a speed run and you're trying to go as fast as possible, I enjoy using the glitches because I don't do it in the other ones. Some people don't like it when people glitch through the games, but in my opinion, if you're trying to go as fast as possible and the glitch is a way of going fast, then, then I use it. Um, Karnov is one. Uh, Bionic Commando is a great game. Uh, we learned the speed run of that. I never put a time up. Uh, it's good. Karnov's not really my favorite game. I'm not a big fan of Karnov. Ha! <laughs> That's where I wish I was there. Boognish is on a. a So you're on a beach in Mexico, staring at the ocean, drinking margaritas. Don't we wish we were there? I'd love to see a breakdown of Bill and Ted. As far as I know, everything is random. But if there is a way to predetermine things, that would help the speed run tremendously. Never played it. Uh, would you learn the Battletoads speed run someday? Probably not. Uh... I, I'm going to do no damage battle toads. You know, we have, we have a three hit playthrough of that or two hit playthrough of that. I can't remember. Uh, we'll get no damage battle toads, but I probably won't take the time to learn the speed run. All right. That looks like we even have a little bit more room there, guys. This may be the way to go. I really don't like this because it has me approach it from the opposite direction. But because we can come down here, when this ray unloads, we get the first of the two ray that we have to set low. And when we shoot that jellyfish, we get the second one. So watch this. Now we got them both. So we need to come down to the proper level. Let's find out where the proper level is. I believe it's right there. So this should put them perfectly. So that's where I need to, I need to go down that low, but no lower. You'll see these guys will go out on the right, back to the left, come back in from the right, but be just underneath me. That's what I want to do. But I want to, and I want to shoot that jellyfish when I do it. No bun, no bunagus ambitions. Never heard of it. It was one of the tougher games you beat.
I don't know if that second guy's low enough. Let's check it. So if I'm being honest with you, and why wouldn't I be, right? Uh, so this guy here is low enough. This guy here is low enough. No, nope, not low enough. I would have killed him. If I kill him. I love how TikTok says I'm inactive. Good job, TikTok. You're so you're so good. You're so nice, TikTok. If I kill him and he drops a shell, this will mean that. Hold on. Missed him. He does drop a shell. If I could position myself in the right spot where I kill him, he will drop a shell. And that shell has to sink all the way down to the bottom and then wait two seconds to disappear. Which means it'll be that much longer before the game can create the next ray but i don't think that that's gonna delay where do i have to be how precise is it I want to see how precise this is. Oh, he didn't drop it that time because of the location I'm in. Crap. I went down way too far, but I mean, that's that should work. Man, I really don't know what to do to make this easier. I got to practice it, I think. Too much. too difficult to do when you have to avoid the jellyfish or shoot the jellyfish. It's too difficult. I pick it up then that that's the shell thing but it's not going to work. I need to stop. I need to stop. Keeps making me rejoin as if you went offline. Nick Vandal, uh I don't understand TikTok. TikTok will shut off my stream and say that you're not active. It'll say We've noticed that you're not active. Go over here and line a puzzle piece up on your PC. 
I don't know why it does that, but when it does that, I think it kicks you guys out. Uh, if you guys are on TikTok right now, uh, I've been streaming on Twitch for years now, uh, going on six years. That's where the majority of the stream fun is, the interactive shit and overlays and, and fun community things are all on Twitch. I do it on TikTok because I can, and it's to see if people like the stream, they can come over to Twitch because it's really where it is. Might need to do some Googling. No, I don't understand. I don't understand TikTok. TikTok is not a, uh, TikTok's not the, uh, a good platform for gaming, in my opinion. I've tried doing stuff on TikTok, but it's not the right way for me. For me, uh, and like I said, I've been on Twitch for a really long time, and I just like it more over there. But yeah, Nick, uh, definitely come over to Twitch for sure, for sure. Like you get these little guys running around. Uh, you try to spell out the word that they spell and stuff. Uh, looks like it's broken right now, though. <laughs> oh, this broke my brain today. I spent all day working on this, uh, and I don't know. Yeah, Tiny Sal knows all about it. I spent all day working on this and I don't know if I like one better than the other. I think the best one we did, let's just recap that. I believe the best one is the, the triple wiggle here. So we go to the Jaws fight and we go one, two, three. No, out again. One, two, three. You do that. That's the setup. And now the guy's not in your way. So essentially we're getting that where we can kill Jaws. If you're perfect, which is the whole goal, if you're perfect, you will kill Jaws right before the baby shark gets to you. You may even hit Jaws and the baby shark at the same time. If you do that, if we can do that in a run, we will cut two seconds off of the world record at 305. We'll have a 303, which will be practically untouchable. So that's what we're aiming for. We're aiming for being able to do that drop. I can't stop. It's uh, I'm going to be this I'm going to obsess over this. And I didn't get the first guy low enough. That's just not good enough. It's just not good enough. Uh, most of the KP words are either misspelled or memes we created. Yeah, a lot of them are even worse too because you guys have put them in there as memes and then misspelled them on purpose so people wouldn't know. <laughs> the stream is a bunch of inside jokes. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We are not doing this tomorrow. 
we're not going to do this tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to give this a day to sit in my brain, uh, maybe do some practicing later tomorrow, but we'll be back to Super Mario Brothers 3 no damage playthroughs tomorrow. Uh, I just can't. I bet you, I bet you we are doing this tomorrow. I shouldn't. I shouldn't do this tomorrow. This has got to be the most boring stream to watch when I'm sitting here obsessed over a sp I've been fighting Jaws for five and a half hours straight. I haven't even taken a pee break. 10,000 channel points say you end up playing Jaws tomorrow. Uh, Sapphire says, I don't know. It's interesting. It is... Uh, it is a thing. Mosek says, I don't like Jaws. There you go. Thank you for being honest. It could be worse. Well, like I said, we're going to split it up. I need, what I'm doing is I'm finding inconsistencies. And the reason why I'm inconsistent is I'm burnt out. I need to let the muscle memory set in. And I've got to, that dive pass is very difficult to do. And I'm not going to learn it in one day. And I'm trying to learn it in one day. And that is stupid. That is stupid. But it is time for a raid, ladies and gentlemen. First off, we do have to say goodbye to all of our friends over on the TikTok. TikTok, thank you for joining me today. And I will be here tomorrow, same time. And you can join me then. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye. TikTok, bye. Now we need a, we need a uh, raid for Discordians. Time for Skyrim Thursdays. Uh, well, what we'll probably end up doing, guys, uh, Matt D was kind of... Uh, Matt, shut up, me! Matt, Matt D was kind of the guy that fixed the internet. You notice how the stream's internet is... Uh, the stream's quality is much better right now. It was great today. It was great yesterday. Matt D is to blame for that. Uh, I tried working out using multiple uh, internet sources at one time and it didn't make sense to me and I couldn't figure it out. He figured it out with a Speedify program and got me all hooked up. So because of Matt D, we now have the internet that we can do more modern games and we don't have crashes, which is in huge. So he's always wanted me to play Dark Souls. I think that we will probably... Uh, I don't want to go too many D's deep, but uh, I do want to, if we're going to do anything newer, because your new PC is the tits, the new PC has no problem playing them. It's the internet displaying them has always been the problem. And now we have both pieces of the puzzle. So uh, I think that what I'll do is learn uh, no damage dark souls for Matt. That'll be the, that'll be the first newer game that we do a no damage playthrough of. Mikey loves pizza. Mikey loves pizza. How's it going? Top 10, uh, SMB three. Yeah, we're doing SM SMB three, no damage playthroughs. And we messed around with jaws today, but, uh, Mikey love pizza. You're, you're, uh, stopping by at the very end of the stream. I stream every weekday morning, uh, from about eight or nine Eastern standard to two in the afternoon. So you're catching the very end of the stream. If you do like super Mario brothers threes or, or other, uh, regular Nintendo challenges, uh, I do speed runs, but more, uh, the last three years or so I've been doing no damage playthroughs. So we do have a no damage playthrough of super Mario brothers, but we use the warp whistles. Uh, now I'm going back through and I'm doing a no damage playthrough of Super Mario Brothers 3 without using the warp whistle. So we actually go through all of the worlds, which is really fun. You should sign in early. I'm here. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I am here. Every, I'll be here tomorrow morning uh, at eight o'clock with no pants on. Pants on. On. Off. On. Pants may or may not be on. Pants optional. Tomorrow morning is uh, it's pa pants optional Thursday is what we call it. Always called it that. Didn't just make it up now. This is something that we've had for years on the stream. 
Uh, just wait until Slack has to start diving into the numbers of Dark Souls and optimizing a bill. Hope you like math, nerds. J Games, I don't think we're going to have to optimize a build. I think Dark Souls is going to be uh, easier to break. Uh, there's so many things that we can do as far as I've seen uh, the playthrough of it. I watched Matt play through the game, and as I'm watching him play it, I'm like, this is not going to be that hard. There's so many things that you can take advantage of, things that allow gave you protection from this or protection from that. I watched the speed run. They run by most of the enemies. Uh, the no damage playthrough of Dark Souls is going to skip most of the enemies. I can already tell you that right now. Because there's just no reason to fight them. Uh, you say you still need to optimize for damage to kill bosses faster. That's in speedruns. We may not need to kill bosses faster. I saw him kill a dragon where he just sat off to the side and shot the dragon in the ass with his bow and couldn't get hit. Not sure. Dork souls. Moslek, good job. I'm not sure uh, how we're going to do it, but on my lunch break now, but we'll try to catch you tomorrow again. Well, Mikey loves pizza. Stop by tomorrow. Like I said, I do this. This is my, my job, uh, my career of choice playing Nintendo. Can you beat that? Uh, I, I get to do this every day. So stop by tomorrow morning. Uh, we're going to be doing full playthroughs of Super Mario Brothers 3 and doing our best not to take damage. Uh, our best playthrough a couple days ago was only getting hit twice, uh, like I said, with the end goal. Also, Mikey Loves Pizza, if you want to know more about the stream, you're on YouTube. I have a playlist called Flawless Ness. Uh, that'll show you all of the games to date that we have beaten without taking uh, any damage. Okay, we need a raid for Twitch, guys. They may have a suggestion for a raid on Twitch. Cosmic? Sure. I'm always up to raid Cosmic. It's been a while. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here today. I had a fantastic time. Can't wait to do it again tomorrow. Hopefully this Jaws stuff doesn't stick in my brain too hoard. Uh, today was a, today was a hard day of, uh, smashing my face against the same wall for, uh, five hours and 40 minutes. We'll see. I'll probably be out here at one o'clock in the morning working on this, but I never mind. I'm not going to do that. That's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. But until tomorrow, guys, thank you so much for being here. If you have a Slack Pack Wolf, be sure to drop it in the chat and wish Cosmic good luck on his speed runs of Lost Levels. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See ya. Leave. Could you?